Yeah. I know what you're thinking. Here go another damn podcast. But you got me to up, partner. This here gonna be a little dick, man. Check me out, though. Let me spit some of this pimp shit. You did. She say, where we going, baby? I say, we going to the moon. But I'm the biggest star in this movie. And you'll be coming soon. Don't why you that bitch bitch bitch. This? Just listen when I spit. I'll be your Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. You can have everything on your Christmas list. You ain't gotta say a word. I do all the talking. But you the big stepper, baby. You do all the walking. Hold on. Stop the beat. What the hell that got to do with the podcast? You steady talking like you a damn pimp. You a comedian. You ain't no damn pimp. Man, why you hating, mama? Because you're messing up my image. Man, what you want me to do? You want me to change it up? Yeah, don't nobody want to hear that shit. All right, mom, I'm, I'm going to change it up. Put some salt in their mouth. What's up with it, baby? What's up with it? Yeah, it's time to get it started. Hey. Got your name funk sway in the field. Right. And you know more. You know more. Okay. Yeah, we both from the country, the country, but we living in the city. Yeah. yeah, my mama might be a little old, but she's still looking pretty. Come on, you now. country Come folks in the city. You know what I'm and you know we stay clean. If you see me on 5150, then it's two, two line. line. No, I'm rapping Yeah, we use different words, country but we're saying the same Put thing. Yeah, we independent now. Don't need nobody. But we still mainstream. Yeah. There you go. That's better. Let's start the damn show. What up, what up, what it do, what's happening, squad? We in here, we in there, bit like some unborn puppets, you know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> this is mainstream country folk in the city podcast. I am your host, you know Marcus, and on the side of me, my co-host, Free game chat. What's up with it, chat? And this is episode 113. 113. You know what I'm talking about? If you in this chat, tap that like button for your boy. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, comment, talk your shit. Hit subscribe if you ain't subscribed. And if you really fuck with the chat, this hope. Said spread it to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Let them see it, man. Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, 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 God damn me. If you wanna, if you wanna do some donations, if you wanna, you know what I'm saying? Support the cause. You know we got the uh, uh, super chats, the cash apps, the the Zales, the, the the Venmos. You know what I'm saying? Wherever you wanna go, we got a wallet. You know what I'm talking about? Now, as y'all can see, Mama ain't here. Mama, she left about, what, about two hours ago, two, three hours ago, because she headed to uh, 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 Tacoma. She headed to Tacoma. Hold on. Say, what's up, uh, Mama Game Free Chatty? What do Marcus? Country ass never on time. Fuck y'all, man. <laughs> <laughs> Been a member for 12 months. Come on, Reed. Real uh, nigga, what's up? Uh, yeah, Mama had to get up out here, man. Uh, so she, uh, she, she headed to Washington right now. Um, you know what I'm saying? Cause y'all know I got the show tomorrow in Tacoma. So, hey, if you in Tacoma, if you in Seattle, get them tickets right now, man. If I need y'all to some folks call yeah, them. Yeah, man. I need y'all to pick it up, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm I, I need, to, I need, to, I need to get the sales up over there, man. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't what I thought it was gonna be, man. I thought y'all was gonna. Be on it, man. Y'all, y'all slow rolling on the over there for me, man. So if you in uh Seattle Tacoma, or if you know somebody in Seattle Tacoma, tap in. Get the tickets or or got to be uh uh, uh uh let them know to get the tickets, man. Tell them I'm coming to shut that bitch down, man. I'm coming to cut up, man. Need y'all to fool with me. If you're cool with me. You dig. Now, y'all know I got a lot of things in place. A lot of things I'm trying to do. My mind all over the place. Uh, uh, so, 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 shit. Man, take some of this stress off me, man. Get some of these tickets, man. Take some of this stress off your boy. Appreciate that, Shy. Say you them skits on punt. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, appreciate you, Rashad. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, uh, hey, man, I'm trying to balance this shit out, man. Y'all know my organization skills ain't shit. But 
I'm trying to keep a balance, man. I'm trying to get these skits done. Trying to do my reaction videos. Trying to go fly out, go do my do my shows. Got the podcast, man. I'm writing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man. Trying to go bro. to the gym. You trying got- to work out, man. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Read. Hey, man, man. You got to feed yourself. You got to sleep. Man, listen, man. Y'all don't understand, <laughs> man. People be like, man. Shit, man, you got it made. Woo, man, nigga, I, I can't stop moving. Shit, I don't stop moving till I lay down. Then when I lay down, I feel guilty. Like, damn, what you doing? Get your ass up. You know what I'm saying? That shit be eating at you, dog. Man. Especially when you ain't, you know what I'm saying, where you want to be. You know what I mean? That shit be eating at you. She be like, God damn, boy, I'm trying to get there. You know what I mean? So, you know, I got to get that. I got to get Got to get to that walk, that that position, man. To where, where I got it, you know what I'm saying? Where I can, I can, I can move how I need to. You know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about? Yeah. Now, uh, since we, uh, just me and Cud today, shit, we're gonna get, we're gonna get into it, man. We, we're gonna, we'll talk about this week, man. Let's get to it. Let's, what, what, what's, what's happening, man? What, 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 what you, what, you, what, what this week was about, man? Should I do anything significant? Oh, weekend was relaxed. What did I? Shit, goddamn these days starting to blur together. Shit, motherfucker be so focused on staying afloat in these LA streets. Goddamn, but I don't think I did nothing special this weekend. Damn, I don't think I. I don't know if it come to me. I'm gonna have to have to. Uh, you ain't do no shows. In. I don't. Did I? Well, you know, that nigga, that nigga, mind but blank, ain't it? Man, shit, I don't feel like I a think blur. you had a show because I, because I, uh, I went to the NAACP. You had to go. To I, did, where the fuck was I at? God damn, I did have a show. Yeah, you said it. You said it. Somebody show. I can't remember what you said about it, but but you couldn't make it to the NAACP because of that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you said it wasn't the show wasn't shit or what. But. Oh, oh, the the goddamn sneaker ball. They had some shit called a sneaker ball. Niggas was in suits and tennis shoes and shit. It was some weird shit. But uh, uh it was cool. Be doing you know that. what I'm saying? Like you know, niggas be trying to do anything to get get some motherfucking tickets sold. You know what I'm saying? But it was cool. Goddamn, it was probably like 30, 40 motherfuckers in there. You know what I'm saying? And Motherfucker, but I I don't like the the using comedy for a prop to get people there, and then you're doing other shit. Yeah, they 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 introducing rappers in between the comics and trying to sell. Uh, they got the weed booths and shit like that, and you know what I'm saying. They be trying to use comedy like a prop or something. You mm. know what I'm saying that that should be weird to me, but it was cool though. It done like y'all were hosting that motherfucker. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We we the we the entertainment to keep you there. Yeah. <laughs> while while niggas try to sell some other shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, they do that shit all the time out here. How many how many comics was on the line up? Uh shit. I, I went first, goddammit. I left after me shit. I ain't. So it was probably like five, six comics though. I left after I went up, though. Look at Rito. Rito said, Chad got that butterscotch on. You heard me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what up, Rito? What it do, my boy? Had to get you back through here. Come fool with it, boy. I ain't seen you in a little minute, man. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> nigga said, no mama, I'm out. Can take your ass off, nigga. <laughs> Freak ass, right. yeah, boy. You never know with me, man. You know, I fuck around, man. You, you, It might start off like this, and then you fuck around, look up, nigga, it's some more shit happening, man. So, you know what uh. I'm saying? Hey, be gone, then you gonna be gone, goddammit. But you you never know. You never know with Marcus, man. You know what I'm talking about? Shit. Yo, anyway, uh, man, I, hey, this week was dope, man. This, this week was dope. I had a good time. I went to motherfucking the NAACP CP Awards, nigga. Never been to an award show. This was a real award show. Never went to an award show. First time going. 10 out of 10. Yeah. I would recommend. Man, had a time. I hey man, boy, when I say it was some things in that bit, boy. Yeah. Ooh. We 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 name dropping who who was in that thing. Ooh. Well, everybody was in there. Yeah. Now all, all the celebrities, you know, you know. 
God damn me, Kyla Pratt. <sighs> you know I got to start with her. Yeah. Yeah, she had me shook a little bit. Uh, Luda. Luda was there. Luda. He, he actually performed. Luda, Ludacris performed. Okay. Uh, uh, what the fuck he saying? God damn it. Get the fuck out the western shit. Nisa, he did a whole lot of shit. This, he performed at the after party. See, I, you know, you know, I, hey man, I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a hell of a nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I ain't just go to the NAACP award, nigga. I'm in that bit in the after party. You know, you can't just get it in the after party like yeah. that. You got to, you got to know somebody, or be somebody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You done jugged him. Man, what? Yeah, Jug King in that bit, man. I'm talking about man, dog. I'm on it. When I say, you know, I was in that motherfucker swab devil nail. Bitches looking at me. I'm seeing them look at me. Oh, you look so good. Oh, you put that together. Oh, whoop. You know, I was, you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, oh my God, you, oh, I like that. Oh, oh. hey, choosing. Mm. Choosing. Choosing for a bruising. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen, dog. I had a time that night, dog. Yeah. Man, what was the highlight? Nigga, she I ain't even gonna, I can't even tell you the highlight, boy. Yeah. Cause boy, <laughs> hey, 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 boy, hey, I, hey, I had one I was on. The motherfucker, man, that motherfucker so fine, dog. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about body and everything. Yeah. And boy, she was, she was acting like nigga. I was goddamn me, him, boy. Him not. She them. knew I was him. Him yeah. and Neutron. You hear me? Yeah. Him and Neutron. Uh, him and Hendrix, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I was in that bit like, you know, I'm on that motherfucker. I'm, I'm, she, you feel that ass right back there. I said, like, shit, that motherfucker. Yeah, boy, I'm talking about boy, Liz. I'm talking about boy, it was, Freaking boy, celebrity. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you, boy. I'm, I'm in that motherfucker. Cut up, you hear me? Yeah. You know, I had free food for a nigga. I'm in there eating a the buffet. Let me tell you something, boy. I'm fucking with Air Wars that come around. Because if that type of activity going on, it, when, 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 when you had celebrity bitches looking at you like, who is this? Who is this? Oh, hey, how you doing, baby? Whoa, 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 whoa. I who had, that nigga I had motherfuckers, that I had motherfuckers that, that producers of big shows choosing on me. Yeah. So so we in now then, right? Huh? We in now then. Listen, right? I'm talking about Hey, I we had, finna get syndicated. I had, I, had, I had, you know, this would have been right up your alley. I had a white, a white bit. You hear me? She was, she was like probably Italian or some shit like that. She was, she looked, you know, she would choose. She's, oh my god, you are the most handsome thing in the in this party right here. And oh my god, look at how you put it together. Oh my god, let me look at you. She in that romantic side. She all talking about what? <laughs> you would have thought I was for sale. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she was, boy, she was examining me, man. And she said, you, you know, I'm, I'm a producer for woo, 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 woo. I ain't going to tell y'all what the show is. Yeah. Like. I said, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, you know, showed me her, her, her little shit. I'm like, okay. I'm, oh, yeah, we should do lunch. Okay, that's what we're doing. Yeah. I'm talking about I'm in that bit jugging. I'm jugging. Let me tell you something. You put me in a room. Don't put my. Don't put Mark. Nah, fuck y'all to my cap. Nigga, you gonna see? Don't put me in no room where it's action. Cause I'm gonna be in that motherfucker getting action. I'm gonna be in that motherfucker working. Playmaker. You hear me? <laughs> I'm a playmaker, boy. You want me on your team? You want me on your team? Cause I'm the nigga that's gonna make the dream. <laughs> huh? You hear what I said? You want me on your team? I'm the nigga that's gonna make the dream. Yeah, man. Black coffee, no sugar, no cream. That's the kind of nigga you need down for your team right here. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, you missed one. Yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, you need to kick your own ass. Boy. You kick your own ass for that one, boy. Yeah. Kick your own ass for missing that shit. I, I, I blame you. Who? You. How you gonna blame me? Cuz, you ain't say, oh, man, slide after your show with something going on. Nigga, you should have said, fuck that show. I ain't know nothing about no NAACP. How you don't know nothing about the NAACP? See, boy. I'm talking about the award show, not the, not the uh, goddamn group or whatever it is called. 
My, uh, Marquise Atkins sent me ten dollars. Say keep pushing on your way to greatness, my boy. Come on, man. Come on, man. Nigga, I, hey, man. Salute, my nigga. Appreciate the dog. Shit. Go, go, go ahead. You don't know what. You, you ain't. You ain't tell me nothing was going on. I said the NAACP awards is here. Pull your. Uh, I said go on. Go on. Pull up. Get get the ticket. Pull up. You what know, tickets? I told you about the ticket. I said ticket. Ticket gonna be like fifty dollars. Hmm. I said, I got the tickets right now. You can get you can get you a ticket for the for the fifty ball. Yeah, I told you that. Hmm. You like, oh man, oh, oh, got the little show, man. Oh, 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 oh man. I said, all right, all right. <laughs> I said, all right. It was a lot of folks in that bit, dog. Like some real known name. I, I was, you know, Usher and all them motherfuckers in that motherfucker. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. Queen Latifah and and and, 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 and Fantasia and. and Goddamn me! The whole uh, cast of the different shows, Snowfall show, and yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Bell out, nigga. I'm telling y'all. Listen, y'all got to give me the info next time. Hey, hey, can you get this real quick? Hey, okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. Abe, get you. Um, uh, look, let me tell you something, man. Listen. You know, if you if you in that in the tackle, you know we be be having the majority of the war shows here, nigga. I ran it old evil, Longoria. Who the fuck the is evil? Light skin, bro. Yeah, mopped okay. into her. Boom. Oh. She said, "All right." I forgot what she said. She said something to me. Yeah, slit. I said, "Shit, I ain't not evil." You know what I'm saying? You you need some good to go with that evil. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey, boy, hey, you know, I'm slick with the tongue. You know what I'm talking about? Man, yeah. hey, man, say, man, listen. Boy, hey, y'all better not put me in another room with, with full of celebrity because you know I stand out. You know I was in that moment. <laughs> you, you know I was stand out, man. I had my red and black on on the bit. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Hey, man, boy. I, that's how you find out you that nigga, man. You, when you in the when you in a room with a black excellence mm-hmm. and you look excellent mm-hmm. to, to the excellence. Mm-hmm. I was upper echelon in that bitch. Yeah. Huh? Listen. I'm talking about I was listen, they they were trying to figure out who what he do? What he on? They were waiting they wait that's where they were looking at me. Yeah. I know he gotta be on something. Yeah. Why we don't know this nigga? Why we don't know this nigga? We gotta know him. We got to know him. We I was like Frank Lucas. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about when he wore that fur coat? Yeah, yeah. When they yeah. fucked him up? Yeah, yeah. I was Frank Lucas. Who that nigga up there in the front? Yeah. Who that nigga on that nag? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what you do. When you come to a award show out here, you come in, you make sure you got some shit that stand out. You got to look the part. And I promise you, you're going to shake the room. Mm hmm. Shake the fuck you, man. To my market talking like he had a, a on a dress. Fuck you, man. <laughs> fuck you, man. Frank Mucus. <laughs> Frank Marcus. Frank Marcus in that bitch. You hear me? Man, yeah, y'all. But yeah, you I'm telling you, man. I'm, whenever they come with another one, I'm there. I'm in that. I'm in a war show. I <laughs> look at you. I see her in there too. Old girl uh uh What's the name of elementary? Uh, elementary. They was yeah. in there. Her name like Quintella. Or something. Yeah, Quint- yeah. Uh, Abbott Elementary was in there. Yeah, yeah. She was had she had a little corner. She you know she done came up from that social media, boy. Yeah, you know she t- she took off. She That's took how she off. got her foot in the door. What? Hmm. Large. Oh, you wanna? She she do, that's the one that did that video. You on you on the video she did? Mm-mm. When she was like, oh you, because uh. She was on a date with a nigga, and and she was it was trending. She was like large because the nigga was like, "Let me get a, 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 a some type of meal." And he was like, "Yeah, let me let me get a large." And she was like, "Large." Y'all remember that? Mm-mm, never seen it. Yeah, that's Qu- Queen 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 Queen. Is it Queen? That was some most exotic to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She 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 a. Hey. Yeah, no, man. If you if you see me in some man, hey man, hey man, just know I was for I you know what I'm swindling. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Swingling with my dingaling. You know what I'm talking about, man? Hey man, say man. 
Hey, but no, it was a ball, man. It was a ball, man. If you, if you, if you she up, looked like a sexy owl. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Nigga, hell no. Nah. <laughs> well, y'all ain't shit for that, boy. boy. They hey, hell. Nigga said she was like a sexy owl, dog. A one, huh? A two, a three. <laughs> <laughs> Well, y'all ain't shit. Yeah, they was. I seen. I seen. Uh, what's the little mermaid name? What's her name? Um, I I forgot. Bailey. Bailey's Haley. Haley's goddamn it. Bailey. Haley Bailey. Haley Berry. Haley Bailey. Haley Berry. Haley Berry. Hello, Holly Bailey. I, I don't fucking know. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I see. Boy. Yeah. I was in there. I was in there with the stars, dog. And I was part of the squad. You hear me? Yeah. She was a little kid in some the look one in the black. Where's she from? The blackish show? Is that the blackish little girl? I don't know. She must be him. I don't know. I seen no I seen no uh Kiki. Kiki. Kiki do you love me? Yeah, she was in the I seen uh I seen a good number of folk, man. I just seen a good number of folk, man. And then they had the shit together. You know, I snuck my way around. What, what's happening? What's happening? Yeah. Slide through like a drive through. Yeah, they waiting on you. Look. Come on, because I can tell you what this action you missed out on. Come on with it. Come on. Yeah, we already talk about it right now. Yeah, I already Look, know y'all know this crazy know. mother right here. My dog, come here. <laughs> oh, Brandon in here, man. Miss Denise. Let's see it through, man. Hey. Okay. Come on. Hey, y'all. Hey. Okay, Speaking of stars in the building. Is your mic on? You good? Flick it. No, oh, there it is. You know, I ain't used to this. Yeah, ain't used oh, to this. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all look ass. snazzy. Oh man, you know something. I got my hat on too. See, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're ripping the shot here today. Yeah, you feel me? Got my Jordans on. It's yeah. a yeah. Chicago type of day. Uh, have you been since this couch? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you had to set up over there. That's when I walked in. I thought I was going to be behind the stuff. Yeah, yeah. man. You know Y'all got some. It's spacious. You oh, know, because before we had picture that too. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I ain't you know, see we, the artwork. You know, we come we come crazy <laughs> around here, man. You know, we <laughs> I love it. We ain't come to play with them, you know what I'm talking about? I love yeah, it. Yeah, so um, you know, we 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 um we was talking about the awards. Remember, I'll tell you about. Oh that. yeah, he fancy, fancy, oh, fancy. Oh man, why you wasn't? Oh. There? You must have been uh, um, baby. Time. I, w- I wish I'd have got the, the. If I would have got the link earlier, I would have tried to go. But I think you told me around like one or two, four hours to get ready for no, something like that. It was, it was that morning. I told you that morning. I already had I t- I, uh you yeah, you was already planning on going to uh Rolling Loud. Rolling Loud, yeah. I had concerts. I went and saw Summer Walker and Big Sean and Post Malone. Yeah. And- mm. I ain't sound like nobody I want to see right now. What's her name? Callie. Who? Who? You know the girl that be like, got a white boy on my roster. He be feeding me. Lobster. Oh, lobster. No, no, no. I was about to say shrimp and something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know oh, no, oh, I only know because of TikTok. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't know if I seen her. Yeah, TikTok yeah. about to get closed. Yeah, yeah what that, they say, goddamn. Yeah, that that oh. uh um, it was it was it was it was live though, man. I, I I really wish you came up in that motherfucker, man. And it looked like you had great seats. Man, I was, hey, I was finessing. I was walking through that motherfucker. They wouldn't ask you no, unless you got to the first four rows, which what that's what that's what that's what the people the was at. It was that's it what... was some folks in the other rows too, okay. though. Okay, but 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 the the, the 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 top shelf niggas was in the in like the it, okay. So next time, just niggas. if you be like, hey, I got this plug to this thing, because I'm always it's so much stuff in LA to do. I was on a BET show on all 10 episodes and I still ain't getting invited to the motherfucking BET Awards. I said, y- you know what? I'm sick. I'm sick of it. <laughs> they said, <laughs> they said, uh, who, who are you? I said, bitch, I was on the show. <laughs> <laughs> they, they forgot about you, B. Said, Speaking okay. of BET, Comic View yeah. just came back and she was on that, man. Brand I'm, I'm on, on that, man. It. You know what I'm talking about? I the last episode. You that motherfucker. You know I'm on it. Last I, episode, yeah. Brandon was on Comic View, man. Comic View, episode four. It's only four episodes. Mm. They got man, me opening it up. I'm mad they didn't put it, they didn't do it like, that was a very short season. It was. It was like, how many comics was it? Like So, ooh, probably like two, 10? 10 to 12. Yeah. Not even 12, probably like 11 or 9, 10, 10, yeah. 11, 10, 11. Yeah, man. And like you know, and I, and I think they may have just been testing it out. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. 
that's what I think. I hope it does well. I hope that y'all tune in. I hope that y'all watch it so we can get a season two, so we can get yeah. Marcus on there, then Chad, and, you know, I hope that it does well. I know a lot of people like, this yeah. And I'm like, everybody should want this to succeed because we do not have spaces for black comedians. Yeah. I ain't on, I'm not on Don't Tell. I mean, I did some shit with Comedy Central, but it's not, they not specifically looking for us. Right, right, right. Exactly, because I'm because uh, I tried to I talked to the mother who run that don't, don't tell, and then he was like, oh, "Okay, oh, I gotta check." You know they he they, follow they, me. He know yeah. who I am. Yeah, you know they how they give you that little run around a little bit. <laughs> like, all right, man. And you know them sets, them sets been putting niggas on. Them niggas, they they out here selling out shows because they got a goddamn ten minute ten minute set on YouTube. Man, me, Four million views. That, what, that's how big that following gets. This is what pissed me off. It more than being too. They went to they went to the they went to the uh I went to one of the um to Ta- did tape. you go to the taping or just to the show? Just to the show. Okay. And he came in, I'm like, hey, woo woo, I'm arguing woo woo. And he like, oh man, yeah, you know, I mean you go through this go through this process. Woo, you filled out the, the, the forms. I ain't did it. I I, I ain't gonna lie. They don't check that shit no way. I filled out oh, the forms man. and I had people refer me, but I mean I just feel like the list and the demand is just so high. Yeah, Y'all talking about don't tell. Yeah, yeah but and, and, and but this is my thing. I watch this. I watch the show. Ooh, I say but garbage. He, Boy, here's here's feet. the here's the difference though. It's easy to get on the shows. Yeah, and the shows just like regular shows. You get paid to do your time, but to get on there to go in to do the taping, that's the ones that they put on the YouTube, and that's the ones that the clips be going to fuck up. But see, but what? what how, how did the the difference? How did they? Figure out the difference. Um, because they have the shows in every city across America. It's mm-hmm. like twenty to thirty of these cities that have these shows. So you could go do them. You go do like a headline instead of something. But the guy Kyle, he picks every couple of months. They do like T Murph did one. Every couple of months they'll fly some people out. They put them up. They pay them. They, After you done did it for probably a few times. I don't know. It's just the, 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 just they just pick them. Oh. Damn. Well, at least at least why I want to get 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 you know what I mean, get on it. You know, what but I'm yeah, saying? You, like, just yeah, definitely start with the showcases. Yeah, but that like I said, that's still not a guarantee because I've been doing the showcases in Chicago. Shit, <laughs> he said. Oh, you know, so, I thought you did it. Your teeth down. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I, I, I just finished my aligners too. Fuck y'all, I'm happy. I'm proud of my teeth, <laughs> baby. This is a six thousand dollar smile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had Invisalign. Yeah. Oh, you know, because my teeth was more fucked up than yours. That's okay. Yeah, you had yeah, a gap. Yeah, it was. It, I, I, I took that. I ain't, I wasn't tripping about it being like this. Like this is. I was like this. Okay, this this cool. It ain't. It ain't Do this. you wear the retainers? No. Oh well, your shit re- gonna come back. You Mom, used to I had that shit. I ain't wear the retainers in years. My shit still. You know Ryan, Dave, Ryan Davis did them bitches. His gap came right the fuck back. That because he got that, uh, that, that shit bullshit. at home. That, yeah, that homemade <laughs> shit. I went like, to an actual orthodontist. We gonna fix your teeth for four hundred dollars. Hey man, listen. In your house, I went to orthodontist too. It's a, it's a difference. Yeah, hell yeah. I, and then I went to one of the top ones. Okay. What yeah, made, what you know they were like what, one, the one percent. What made him? Oh, he been white. One percent in Invisalign. He was white. <laughs> Why I'm like, what, my mine is a, a Japanese man. A Japanese man. I like him. I like I like him. You say no, I like, mean, I, <laughs> like he finna get the pussy. I like it. I mean, he is he attractive. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. He attractive. He be playing in my mouth. I'll be like, mm. <laughs> Dr. Be Kwan. In my mouth Dr. Is Dr. Crazy. Kwan. <laughs> yeah, no, I went to. Uh, it's kind of known. What's what's that one for? Uh, uh, I can't think of the name one right. Yeah, cool smiles or some shit like that. I think. Oh, okay. Is it some shit like that? And, and 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 yeah, they put me in. Put me in. Well, this is good that you didn't go get fucked up like that boy who had them. He can't even chew. Y'all saw the them man. Them chiclets. Yeah. Them goddamn. He got them done for free. Oh, uh, I don't think that's real. I think that was. I think he was just trolling. Well, he definitely went to he because it like looked like one tooth. It did, but it was a real person. That's not good for her business. Yeah, she's does she done? Yeah, she done. Yeah. All right, man. Let me get, let's get to talking this shit, man. But next time, I tell you about some awards, Brandon. Better bring your ass, man. And you snuck in and saw Ludacris too. This is crazy, man. Listen, you snuck in and saw Ludacris. Listen, man. They was. They, How did you get into the party? They weren't checking. I was standing out. I was that. I see niggas. I know. I, I know that's right. I done got. I done got. I done got to a point now. Tell I'll me. be out and about. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be out and about, and. I always see niggas I know now. 
Yeah. You remember when you first came out here, everything was new. It was like, oh my God, I don't know nobody. Ooh, ooh. Now, I go into places where it's people that's in there with that st- has got static. I'll be like, oh, what up, my nigga? Yeah. Like, it's it yeah. hit different now. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm like, yeah. hey, man. Yeah. That's, so, you know, that shit, that shit, that shit cool, man, uh, to be able to go. You know, with, with people of, of, of certain stature, like where it's, it's a high profile mm-hmm. event, and 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 I know various, you yeah. know, a few people in that bit. Why? They be like, they tell you you a seat filler. You be like, unhand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 well, I, I went in with a nominee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. The they they clone Tyrone. I mean, yeah, I was in, I was I came in there with the nominee. Hey, 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 hey. I said, hey, 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 hey. I'm with them. <laughs> I'm with them. You know I what I'm talking it. about? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Love it. And they, yeah, they were like, Mark, what you, what you, because because when they see me, they like, Mark, what you doing? I'm over there in the lobby, you know what I'm saying, with everybody else. It, it, they was about to go in or they was trying to go in. And they're like, Mark, what you doing now? Man, I'm like, man, I'm finna, I already had another nigga that was finna get me in that too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> man. Yeah, you you, you you one you one of them type of hoes. You chose up with somebody bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't really big because that motherfucker was known too. You know what I'm saying? Mark, Marcus was like, "Oh, y'all only got one bottle at this table." <laughs> right. He <laughs> chose up with somebody bigger. <laughs> we out. <laughs> yeah, but I, that's my first time going. You been to awards before? Um, mm-mm. you ain't been to none of the awards. Mm-mm. I'm gonna tell you, I would have been down to go to the NAACP award because I feel like it's a good one to go to. Yes. But stuff like that, it's just it stresses me out because it's so many people. It's so many people. You got to get dressed mm. up. It's just it's a lot. It's a lot. I don't well, like being in that. You don't like being well, like around a lot of is it like the, like an anxiety. Type of type it just, situation. It, it feels Exi- it feels like so much anxiety to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The people taking pictures and stuff like that. I did go to a GLAD, which is like the 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 LGBT community. I went to their honors um, ceremony, but I didn't have to dress up too much for that. And it was a bunch of gay boys in there throwing ass, and that's my vibe. I was in there dancing. Yeah, I would, I, I, I'll let you have that one. Uh, Reed Centine said, Brandon okay. looking so good. I first saw you, uh, saw you at her Comedy Central. Let's eat some shrooms together. Uh, yeah, that was a good one. together and vibe out, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you, you need to do that show, t- t- Tales from the Trip. What? It's on Comedy Central. They take your, your shroom or whatever you've done, psychedelics, acid, weed, whatever, um, and they take your story and they animate it. Oh, you tell them about your shit? <laughs> That's, <funny. Yeah. laughs> That's cool hey, concept. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, hell yeah. But I feel That's like so- you have the type of personality for like award shows and stuff. Man, I don't look- just walk into the room and be like, I'm here, y'all. <laughs> I'm not that. I'm just like, hey. And then people know me and then they start talking to me and I'll be like, please stop talking to me. <laughs> it's so awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Man, oh, uh, hey. Uh, hold on. Hey. Magdoria, Brandy. Hey. I can't. That, that thing right there. All right. Um, man, let's go. Okay. All right. We're going to talk about the awards, man. So, you know, my first segment. How long were they? Huh? How long what were up? you there? Oh, nigga, I was there until they, until they shut that bitch down. You hear me? It was like t- four hours? I mean, like the ceremony. Oh, the ceremony about, about two, three hours. Ooh. Yeah, about two, three hours. Yeah, it was, That's it was church service. Yeah, yeah. Been in that it bitch was fun sleep. though. Yeah, they, like they would do it. They would do. Break, they did breaks every t- in between. Okay. When you go to the breaks, go go. You can go to the back, like um, in the lobby area, and mingle and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you go out there and see some folks and shit like that, and and then go and then they was like, oh, we about to start again. Y'all come back in. You, you, you get your ass left out in the lobby if you don't come back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you can go in there. And see it, man. Uh, it, yeah, I, I like that shit though. That shit was different. What? Um, yeah, do you have certain things you want to talk about because I want to know what's your favorite part because I haven't watched it yet. I only saw clips. Favorite part of what? The war show. Oh, uh, man, that nigga Usher talked. Boy, they had to cut that nigga off. They put the music on him. Yeah, <laughs> he still kept going. Usher he said, fuck. "Bitch, I did a Super Bowl. What the fuck this little hey, music about to do?" Look at this nigga here, man. <laughs> I should say, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck, dog. I was laughing. I was like, like, nigga pulled a Kanye or something? Boy, that nigga kept talking. Yeah. That nigga kept talking, boy. And it ain't like he was saying that, you know, monumental. (laughs) That nigga just was like, he was boasting. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was boasting and bragging on himself. I said, look at this nigga here, man. That nigga here, here. 
but see, I guess you know when you get to a certain level or something, you can do what you want. And they, yeah, because who gonna take Usher off the stage? <laughs> right, the cool soup off. They will try to get him off that motherfucker. And he know that all the women in there like his ass, and some of the men too. So they was like, <laughs> who the fuck? What a glad picture of that nigga too. It, it, that was, it wasn't a great picture. <laughs> <laughs> nigga looked like a muppet. <laughs> all right, um. Y'all don't know the man the first segment, He said Usher man. was trying to tell y'all about Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was saying some shit that I was kind of questioning, too. I was like, mm, all right, nigga. Diddy? Like, yeah, he said some shit. You know, I'm, you know my mind be going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What you mean you started from the bottom, Usher? <laughs> <laughs> I started at the bottom with Diddy. Oh, did you? Did you? <laughs> Diddy. All right. Diddy. For, um... <laughs> First segment, man, gotta get them chairs out, man, cause you know they've been cutting up, man, this past week, man. So uh I gotta let them know. Sit your ass down, man. Now, sources say Bruno Mars is reportedly about fifty million dollars in gambling debt with MGM casinos. They basically own him. Man, listen, let me tell you something, dog. Anything anything that I got right now that, that that I feel like is an addiction or a habit that's that's a bad addiction to have I've been letting go I stopped drinking two years ago amen I ain't never been no smoker amen I'm get fuck gambling that that right there that in itself you gave it up man I I, I was you know I would go like once I've twice been a with year. you <laughs> <laughs> he's he's abstaining. He ain't giving up. I left this nigga in Vegas. I bet you had to. I, did, I, I said I got stuff to do, Mark. He said, "Come on, just one more game." One more. I said, "Listen, <laughs> that I forgot you went with me." Yeah. God damn, man. Hey, man. He was like, "I'm up. I'm trying to get." Listen, All the boy. shit they be saying. That, that nigga had you in there at five in the morning. Y'all got there at nine o'clock. I no, like, we know literally, and I'm. But now at this point it's what uh six seven a.m. I'm getting bored, so I go to the craps table. I'm over there winning a little bit, man. I lost like eight hundred dollars in like three minutes. I said, I, that's that's when I was like, I'm leaving the fuck out of here. Cause <laughs> what the fuck? And I, I don't know what took over me. I ain't even had. I was up, and yeah. I was like, I just like just put it all in, and I put it all in, and I turned around, and they was like, oh, I was like, oh, oh. that's all I had. They, they be pumping that oxygen in there. That's what y'all don't know. They pump that oxygen in there and have you up. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, real. man, listen, dog. I only thing I got to let you know, I, you know, I've been pescatarian for about seven years. Mm. Like, I, you know, so I don't, I don't, I don't really have no, no addictions to anything. Sugar is about the. I'm trying to. I'm letting that go. You know what I'm saying? That's but that boy. That goddamn sugar is worse than crack. I don't give a fuck what nobody <laughs> say. Boy, that sugar. When that sugar get hold of your ass. Oh, yeah. When that sugar get hold of your ass, boy. Oh my God. What the sugar do to your ass? Oh, huh, hold on, oh <laughs> not that ass, <laughs> nigga. I I can't. It's it's hard, man. It's hard because you know my mama. My it's really mama fault. When we was kids, when we was kids, mama wouldn't let us. Mama wouldn't like after every meal we had dessert. Every meal, I'm talking about it. Don't matter, nigga. After cereal, we had dessert. That's nice. She said, "That's nice, nigga. That's horrible." That's, I feel like if you if you have dessert after every meal and you got money, it wasn't really no no dessert. Like sometimes it wasn't even no no real dessert, like little debit cakes. Oh, okay, yeah, go, on, go on to get you go on get you a little Oreo, a couple of Oreos. That, that's because mama got a sugar addiction. Yeah, that's what she got. She addicted, but that sugar make you start looking old though. Early. <laughs> so when you say sugar, you cut sugar out. Like what? Like you don't eat snacks or you don't drink juice. Like how strict? With like the sugar? like we can't. Because when we juice. go out to eat, no, nah, that's a uh, prebiotic soda. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that nigga be drinking. Uh, when His we go out to clean, eat, this y'all. nigga like. He starts shaking if he don't get like a cheesecake or something. Yeah, you that nigga, nigga man, lying. that nigga be like. That nigga, he, he, he stretching it. And man, that nigga starts it. Man, I don't nah, know what to do. My, my mouth start, uh, 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 what do you call it, salivating. He, he, he get the uh, Bobby Brown. Y'all remember you know that saying? video? So, so you haven't let sugar go? No, I mean, he I, I, I have to. He can't. I, been, I, ain't been, I ain't been on it. 
I ain't been on He's it like a that. Lie. Like, you know, I used to, <laughs> I used to, I used to, I used to eat it a lot, man. But I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I be, I be conscious of it now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So don't be, I'm be having sugar like that. You know, by I, be, conscious. I do it in, I do it in fruit. But by conscious, he mean he debate on it for about ten minutes, mm. which you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. He uh, still end up breaking. Like but yeah, that but man, uh, I'm tell you this now though. It, if 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 as as for both of y'all, for me, you know, I said that same thing. But nigga, if you got any addiction now, nigga, let that shit go. Let if it, if it ain't like I, I, alcohol, Chad, you gonna have to let that go one day. You gonna have to. That's gonna be your <laughs> Chad. If you don't let alcohol go. Uh, or at least get 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 to a point where it's like you 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 got to control it. You know mm. what I'm saying? The way you can just drink it. You know, like give me a little, give me a little here, get a little, little tiny, there. Nigga, your ass gonna be in trouble, nigga. Yeah. I think you I done. think I think when people get to a certain age, everybody kind of realizes like, all right, nigga, it could either go up or it could go down. Mm. Yeah, you hit that 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 threshold. Chad still be blacking out like we kids. Man, hell yeah. I'm, he, be, he still get that drunk. I, I'm, I'm past the threshold. Yeah. I'm, I'm down. We be, we be, and, and we around prestigious motherfuckers. You can't be doing that getting drunk and you over there saying I mean, crazy he's, shit he's, to folks. He's still, he's still breaking in his boots. Give him a little bit of leeway because I know when I first came to LA, baby, I was getting fucked up. But here's the last time I was on your show, I was fucked up. I was cussing everybody yeah, out. I knew. Yeah. Um, yeah. but here's the thing. Here's the main thing. You just gotta do that when you other, in other cities. You can't do that in LA. That's what well, I learned. Uh, so <laughs> you gotta do it on the so road. So well, <laughs> everybody learned their lesson like early. I was a heavy smoker. I really started drinking at like 32, 33. So like I've been Nigga, going what? I've been going crazy since yeah. I started drinking. <laughs> Nigga, you've been drinking. I wasn't really drinking like that when I used to smoke. Well, you said been you just you didn't drink as much. As yeah, much. like I like I would I would be like people would be like, man, have a shot because we had a party or something. So that's the kind of drinking I used to do. Well, well, you know, man, you you, you three shots, man, you out. You know what I'm saying? You, <laughs> you only it only got so far to go. You know what I'm talking about, man? You you what you three foot four? Fuck you, man. Well, yeah, you can't you can't you can't be drinking that much as you be drinking, man. You know we we'd have been in situations and, and, and Chad I got fucked up. I'd be like, oh. Fuck. <laughs> they got free alcohol and shit. Oh, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I'll tell them beforehand, Chad. And see, the, I, so I love an open bar, but I also, well, I, you got to start light. I just do like a champagne and you mm. just hold that motherfucker for the most of the night. You might go get two. Right. But yeah. I've gotten on my urge. <laughs> yeah. Since it's been two years, I, I, I don't even, it don't even make sense to me. To, to, Every to, now and then I will stop for like a month or something and sometimes I just don't be wanting to drink. But I think liquor for you was like we was for me like we grew up with those things being the norm. Mm -hmm. So once you stop you realize you ain't care about it. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's how we was for me. I smoked my whole life and then once I stopped for a little while I was like I don't even like being high. Yeah. So like that was the difference for in between these habits. Cause I like being me. I like being a raw version of me. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like like I don't like being my, my mind being altered in any way. <laughs> have you ever experienced this? I know I experience this, especially when I take longer breaks from drinking. If I go out and I have a really good time, it's like I come home and I'll be like feeling like I drank. Like because I had such a, a good high. time. And I was like just dancing and talking to everybody. I was Yo. like, did somebody put something in my ginger ale? Cause why the fuck <laughs> was I doing all that? I swear that's what I'm saying is I think we we got a natural like a uh, 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 drunk. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Natural high is a, I guess drunk is kind of a high too that, that, in a sense. But I think it's like a, and, and so some people I have have a certain level of it. And then when you drink or you smoke it enhances it mm -hmm. to the extreme and then you be like ah oh, fuck I'm, it's out of control right now you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's, it's this shit is it's beyond because I, I feel like i got a natural high i'm already goofy you know what i'm saying I, I eat like i got the munchies you know what i mean uh i feel like i got a natural drug I, I, i'm i'm whatever you feel like a, a nigga act when he drunk nigga that's me when I'm when I'm out I'm, I be on 10 you definitely be dancing your ass I be dancing oh, my yeah, ass like, what the fuck he drinking nigga, that, nigga that, back, that nigga back be wet like, I, <laughs> I, I ain't used to seeing that's what I'm saying back be wet. I was at the goddamn what's it called cut, cut yeah. up what dancing my what, ass was off the on the was like the, was the big celebrities in there dancing and stuff too 
It was a few of them in there. Yeah, I yeah, love a few that. Of them in that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it, it, you just that it, you got to understand you. That's what that's what yeah. it is. Endorphins. You know what, it, what, it, what the Dopamine, main thing yeah. is? Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm not sociable when I'm not in. I don't, I'm not out for something. That's because yeah. you. I go in places and I'm just go look at people. I ain't gonna enjoy you myself. You haven't gave yourself time to learn yourself. I, I I know that about myself. I'm gonna go in there and I'm just gonna no, look at I'm people. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be dry as hell. That, I've I've I've, changed, I've I've experienced it. Like after I stopped drinking for a minute, uh uh uh, uh I, I I would go to an event and I'd be like, damn nigga, I don't even know the first thing I need to say to a motherfucker. Like this <laughs> shit feel weird because I'm so used to being intoxicated and inebriated, and and, and now that I'm not. I don't have that false confidence no more. Mm. So now I got to talk myself into it. Mm. Now I got to psych myself into it till it get to a point where I'm, it, it's back normal. Because then you got to stand on your own. Yeah. It's just you. You got that. See, see, you got, it's like you got a dependent with you when you got that, when you got that liquor with you. You know what I'm what? saying? It's like you got somebody speaking for you. You got a uh, representative. You got, yeah, your service animal. You yeah. Know you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you got to learn to, to teach yourself to go without it. You know what I'm saying? And then you realize, nigga, I'm really a dope motherfucker. You know what I think about it? You know what I'm saying? And you like, know nigga. What too? It's, it's something like, I'll say this. At being in the entertainment industry, I do. I did learn how to work a room. I know what smile to put on. I know how to talk to people. Man. I know when even when you're walking away, you grab your shoulder. You, you want to really emphasize something. All the things that you do when you work a room. But it's so much... When I do that shit, when I'm sober, I be feeling like that nigga. I be like, I I can get whatever yeah. I want out of anybody in this bitch, cause it's like I feel like I'm, especially if they drunk. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> feel like, like you oh, got yeah. some leverage. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, cause you, cause you, cause you conscious of what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Like when you drunk, you ain't really conscious. It's of what intentional. You're doing. Yeah, exactly. You move it with intention. You know what I'm saying, and I and I feel like somebody just said you got to de- uh, redevelop your social skills yeah. when you ain't when you've been been intoxicated so long. Like you just like damn nigga. I, I really don't know, cause it's it's like being on social media all damn damn day. You ain't you ain't being around people for so long, nigga. You don't even you feel weird going up and walking up on somebody trying to talk to him. You're like, damn. At what point do I say hey to him? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Standing next to them. <laughs> yeah, like motherfuckers don't understand how people people damn near treat you like you're a creep when you speak to them nowadays. They're yeah. like, oh, Instagram me. <laughs> like 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 women don't understand, nigga. It ain't easy for a nigga to go go approach y'all because. Sometimes you sometimes, you know, you be we be we cause we'll sit over there and ponder on it like, damn, what I'm finna say to this girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you'll have a, a unappro- unapproachable face sometimes. Sometimes you'll be looking like 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 I don't wanna be bothered. You like, man, how can I get her out this mode? What can I say that's clever enough for her to say, what are you talking about? You yeah. know what I'm saying? What's so, your pitch? Yeah. Nigga, it's like, this is what you're doing. You're doing a sales pitch. Yeah, what's your you pitch? You know what I'm saying? A cell phone pitch. I say humor is always the way. Yeah. Because even if you can make me laugh, even if I don't plan on continuing a conversation or I got to run or I, I'm not in a good mood, it's like, I'm going to laugh and I'm going to be like, you funny. Or I'm going to say, answer the question and I, I'll converse for a little bit. Like, you'll get something out of me. That's why comedians get a lot of pussy. Damn. I get a lot of pussy too. So. <laughs> like, yeah, I get a lot of pussy too. They throw it at me. I be like, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. I'm not eating that. <laughs> <laughs> <Mm-mm. laughs> hey, but yeah, see, and, and if you ain't a comedian, now you got to think of a joke. To take her out on more, cause cause motherfuckers be locked in to some other shit. They be thinking about, they probably be thinking about something totally different. And now you come over, it's a bother to them unless you say something that's interesting enough. Now you like, you and then you go over there and fuck around. Don't fuck around, go over there and say nothing awkward. Yeah. And she with a friend and. Oh, uh, now nah, you the cold nigga. Tick- if you approach a friends group and you are <laughs> nigga, hey, you're nigga, cold nigga, nigga, that is. Cause, 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 cause. Once she did you, and then the, let you think you so you done says you you done thought of something clever. You go to her and and, and 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 try to kick that shit, and her friends right there, and then they t- she shoot you down right there. Now your mojo off. You got to start over. You got to re, you got to talk. You got to talk to yourself again. Like damn man, well I don't know how I'm gonna holler at another bitch. Well I got I got oh, I got to shake this. See nigga, that, that's what I'm saying. Women don't be see understanding the perspective of men. Like we gotta really get out here. That's why we're not. That's I could, why I, I couldn't imagine. That's why it's so rewarding for us to get pussy because we actually gotta earn that shit. We actually gotta get out here and hunt. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And y'all, y'all get dick thrown at you. 
You know, Dick, Dick come back. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> you get dick in your inbox. I wish I could get titties and pussy in my inbox all day. Shit, I mean, come, come, bring them here. You know what I'm saying? But that shit, that that's. I think that's why the value of coochie versus dick is that's that's the difference between it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes actual effort to get coochie. Yeah. For the most part, you know, of course, it's easy bitches out here, but for the most part, you got to do a lot. Yeah, you gotta spend money, uh, go on dates. Uh, you know, it ain't just it ain't gonna. But when you when you're a woman, you just walk up on a nigga that you like. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I, I just just want some dick, and a nigga gonna be like, "Hey, uh, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> where we going? What we doing to that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He gonna what, be like, "Wait a minute, see. what's the catch? Yeah, right, right, right. That's a trick." <laughs> But the difference is what what we don't uh, teach like from the beginning is established men don't go through that. You know what I'm saying? So whenever you established uh, established men don't go through what? Uh, What's like, the book title? Great Blake Show. Like having to, um, you know, posture for women and shit like that. Like they don't really have to advertise or put themselves out there. They the women come to them. Uh. It, it, I don't think it, that's it, I don't true. think that yeah I like, mean you might not go to established men brandy but, oh, okay, but okay, women okay. see established men and they with flock what you're to saying them. they women see some of the materialistic things and those are the men that they go after mm -hmm. but I will say that I still feel like a man who is established and has those things he's not gonna just go for anything that's coming at him he in that case he the bad bitch well, he, 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 you, he the bad exactly. bitch he get to go pick that's the point but how okay but but how are oh, you saying like okay if it's like a known rapper or something like yeah that. Okay, like like yeah. like i you, thought you were saying the nigga just got money but i was like how would she know that he got money well okay. so oh, they, so they like so crazy. like um niggas in the club <laughs> with the five bottles it's going to be four, five broads come trying to, oh, can we sit in y'all section? They ain't got to know this nigga, but they see how he moving. And they go they go see the group of men, and they go pick out which one look like he's the one with the bag. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, he's the one calling. It ain't got to be the nigga with the jury. It ain't, they go sit in and be like, okay, you the one who financing all of this. And they go all talk to him. But, but I like I like I like the friend on the side because I always feel like the nigga that's got the one that's in the that's doing all the shot calling. I just like I like his friend that don't say nothing that's next to him that makes some money because I don't want all that competition because I ain't finna be fighting bitches. But, but <laughs> like, you know, most women go feel like they that bitch though. Every every woman feels like she's that one. She, she is, gonna feel like she I just, go. I, I like. Be you ever see a woman and you just feel like they a headache? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hell I just yeah. that's how that's how hell I feel. Yeah. That's, that's how I feel. Them about, light skin, that's how I feel about certain like they, men. Like like the certain mixed breed, breed, breed bitch. I wouldn't do like them bitches that be with D Ray. I, I blame y'all. Me there. and y'all did uh, that. Y'all y'all created no, them. Y'all like created them mixed monsters. Man, I, I don't <laughs> like them, man. Like because because they all carry themselves as if they above conversation. I'm not gonna say all of them because I have I'm mixed about girlfriends. Ma ma majority of them. And you gotta say the LA ones. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. They carry themselves like they're above conversation with normal people. Like, 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 nigga, if you ain't a certain type of uh, caliber of nigga, they don't even want to have no conversation. Like, because they, they, speak, they like, speak in currency. That's what I'm saying. I don't want, I don't, that's why I don't like strip club. Bitch, you ain't gonna look at me as no motherfucking chick. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, bitch. Like, like I'm a person, ho. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm here to come like bitch I am a per oh, you ain't trying to spend none I bitch I am a person I tell bitch that quick Lord. fuck you act like you ain't got no bitch you, you ain't got no personality ho god damn you can at least got some money out of a nigga if you talk to a nigga a certain way make a nigga feel like somebody <laughs> it don't make me feel like I'm no goddamn uh uh bitch Bitch, I, I mean, but you like came ADL. there to see women dance. It's an entertainment and, and center. This ain't yeah, when you come a to a comedy show. They 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 come in to see us tell jokes, the, dance, whatever. Yeah, but but at the so same, how you gonna get mad? They, you get to the door to pay buy a ticket. He like, bitch, them, I ain't know, I ain't come here to motherfucking laugh. But some of them, like, bitches, but you gotta be interactive. As a, a, even, as, even as a stripper, what's interactive? What's a, what's an interactive strip? So you want to be sold a dream? <laughs> at least try, <laughs> bitch. What's the interactive stripper to you, man, bitch? Baby, she gotta be like, I'm, trying to, make a nigga feel I'm like, trying to get in. I yeah, you gotta make a nigga daddy, feel like he's about to get up. Cuz want to lead the strip club, like, ooh, they I was got, on me. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he want to lead the strip club. Like, I, he, the, he the bad bitch. He was, I was the bad bitch. Cuz as a stripper, you gotta sell a fantasy. Just like we gotta sell jokes, you gotta sell a fantasy. At least. 
make so it, you saying the strippers lazy and I'm right. Yes. They not good actresses. Okay. Exactly. They not good you, actresses. You, 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 you got to convince the nigga to come out that paper. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Like, I feel like they don't, they, a bitch walk up to you and you ain't even seen it. You just walked in the club. You trying to get a, trying to get a dance? And it's going to be thudded out us. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, I, ain't, I don't even know what you do for real, bitch. Yeah. Like, like you know, there, there are some tactics that are better than others. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's some give and take there, too. So if, if you walk in, like, like my thing is I normally walk in and I'll get some ones. And I just walk up to the stage and I throw some. By that point, people have a regular conversation with me, and then I get to pick and choose. Like, oh, okay, I want to kick it with you. I want to kick it. But when you come in and you you already dress like you dress, so they like, oh, he trying to give me some pussy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so like they they are, they start categorizing everybody. That's why when we take A, they be like, oh, I want A. Cause Abe look, A, A, <laughs> A look, look like uh, harmless. No, no, Abe looks harmless. You know he going to put his head in their booty looks cheeks. Abe harmless for the motherfucker. <laughs> look, look, we took Abe in the strip club and every bitch in there was on him. I was they, like, they was. damn. They Are was. Because Abe Mexican? looks harmless. Yeah. That's why. I'm going to tell you that's why. Because <laughs> back in 2004, I danced at a little in the bikini bar. Oh, and when I tell you them them motherfucking Mexicans, they be like, oh, oh, another day, another no titties day. For the Mexicans, it, no, I, well, I, it was, I had on a swimsuit. Okay, they, baby, we was in Tallahassee. They was happy to see a bitch. Okay, yeah. let me tell you. <laughs> and I was like, they go to ATM. Them motherfuckers used to stay in there lined up. That's, I be like, go that's, ahead. That's why money. I don't like strip because strip club really for goofy niggas. Nah. It's for goofy niggas. I like strip clubs. Grit strip club is for goofy niggas because if I. What, the, what am I going in here to get teased for, bitch? I'd rather go to a prostitution house. Get some pussy. And see, and that's why I, I think strip clubs are better for women because I don't be in there like, oh, I want to fuck her. But I just admire the woman's you body. You don't want to go in. You in there don't want to fuck her. Niggas, we, when, we, when we come in, we want to see ass and titties. I want to see ass and titties too. No, but you ain't horny like us. I, I don't be horny but, like that, but, but I do probably, like getting dances and stuff. I But it's just... I. I like the bitches who be on the pole because to me that's a sport. I'm gonna give you all my money. You you bad bitch. Most niggas, most niggas, if they nutted before they went to the strip club, Lord they Jesus, would, they wouldn't go. They probably wouldn't go. <laughs> they, either they wouldn't go or they'd go in there and be totally uninterested. Like man, <laughs> if, these hoes could never. If, <laughs> like, if niggas nut before they start their day, women in trouble in general. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas a whole pro- we, we, a pro- we, we, we ain't getting no good morning text hey, We ain't getting no lunch No dinner hey. be like bitch Not a nair, another nail got paid for You know what I'm saying You just gonna take me to lunch tomorrow I ain't a bust a nut I am yeah. <laughs> 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 Call me tomorrow when I re-up When I re-up <laughs> your, your work wife can't even get a coffee hey, yeah. Oh god damn not hey. the work wife like, When I D-up bitch I, mean, <laughs> I got a D-up up first, bitch. Like, that happened to me. I had a bitch not, not too long ago. She, I called her and, 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 and like she ain't answer the phone. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, fuck. I'm about to get this motherfucker out, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm just too ready. I'm too ready. Boy, that bitch called me back about ten minutes later. It was over. <laughs> man, like, what's up? You want me to come through? I'm like, nah, I'm cool. I'm gonna go <laughs> I got some shit to do right now, you know. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. It be the same way for women. I'll be like, okay, well, all right, good night. <laughs> Man. I'm finna go to a nigga house. I'm like, I already done DJ, baby. <laughs> I didn't already DJ. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> DJ Fred <laughs> <on> the <laughs> <beat>. <laughs> Another fire bomb. <laughs> but the point is, niggas gotta put in so much effort. It, is, is this it, all to um, Bruno Mars casino addiction? Yeah, we're gonna get that. <laughs> I'm gonna sit him down. We, was, we went from addiction. Yeah, yeah we did go out. I'm of gonna sit him down. But even if you're established, nigga, you put the effort in prior because you had to work to get that whatever it is you got yourself established. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You had to build that rat trap for them mm-hmm. to catch the rats. Right. You know what I'm saying. And even with that, some bitches you ain't gonna get every bitch like 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 like. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a a woman that's that's out there and got them titties and ass out this thick. Like she don't get more niggas on her, bro, than you would as a nigga that that, that got the paper. You know what I'm saying? So nigga, it, it, nigga, this ain't, this shit ain't easy out here, baby. Not as no man. Oh, and I don't think, and I, that's why I hate when women try to compare men, men and women when mm-hmm. it come to uh. 
There's no comparison. The yeah. Y'all got y'all privileges. We got our privileges. And we just got to accept that. We got to stop trying to make it equal and shit. I hate when I hate when motherfuckers be like, oh, well, what is y'all? Work? No, bitch, it don't work like that. <laughs> I definitely like to be pursued. I Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, I'm tough, good. Because I also feel too like... And, and we I like, we like pursuing. This. If I approach you and I feel like I, and I do a lot of that, it's, and you don't even just like step up and like go above or match me, I just feel like you're not my type of man because I definitely like a dominant guy. I'm like, oh, you, you can't hang. And you can't hang. And that's crazy because <laughs> me, I, I'm such a busy nigga. Mm-hmm. It's so hard. Like, you going to have to show me that you really like me for me to keep contact with you. Like, mm-hmm. like I done had some motherfuckers like, off the rip when I first got them. Like, ooh, got to got this cold bit. Ooh. And then we we started talking. And she kind of drift off. Like, we, 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 like she is, you know, I talk to her every now and then. Like, I, I feel like I'm the one who's steady calling and shit. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, bitch, I'm not finna keep calling you. I got shit to do. Yeah. And so... It, I I miss I missed out on a lot of bitches that I that I, I know out, huh? Now you didn't. I didn't. Mm-mm. Do, you have, you, do you have a water? Oh, oh my bag. Uh, can you get a water? Thank you. Because the the thing is like a, a lot of motherfuckers want you to be mind readers. Yeah. That's that's them goofy motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when, when women talking about the amount of men that are pursuing them, ninety nine percent of them niggas ain't shit. Yeah. Thank you. If uh, established dude got gaggles of women approaching him. I guarantee probably eighty percent of those women, men, the average man would settle down with mm-hmm. them being something or them not being shit. You know that's go vary, mm-hmm. but majority of those women approaching that man, the average man would settle down with. So an established man is getting more quality women that are approaching him as opposed to her feeling like she the shit because her inbox is jumping. Every time she go out, hey, shorty, what's happening, baby? Half of them niggas ain't, majority of them niggas ain't shit. I don't think those quality women, though. If, if they, if That's they, why I said the average man would settle down with them. I'm not saying they're quality women. Okay. I'm saying the average man would settle down with them. The okay. average man would give them a chance as opposed to Brandy. No, she's not giving no nigga the, at the gas station and a big white T-shirt her number. And she got every time Instagram, she pull up come to, her, to a show. Every <laughs> time she pull up and he ain't, can't afford a ticket to the show. Oh, man. And every nigga. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and every nigga at the gas station go speak to her. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So <laughs> women count those as pursuers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the woman, the women that's 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 more more like the women that's chasing the, the nigga that with the bag. Majority of them bitches ain't really no valuable bitches though. Like they they. they but just, the, I'm saying that. Yeah. But the average man would give them a chance. The average man would settle down with a lot of those women you talking about. Based on looks. The average man has a baby by one of them bitches. But based on looks. Yeah. Or you know what? Whatever their criteria is. Okay. Yeah. Because right. uh, women are the majority on the planet. Mm. So finding a quality one is definitely going to be a task. Gotcha. They're like in abundance. That. It's definitely going to be a task. <laughs> it's going to be a task, well, well, baby. Well, 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 oh, we we said all that to say uh Bruno Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Sit your country ass down, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a hell, that was a horrible segue, but fuck it, we out here. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. The, the thing about that though, the last not a couple times ago, I was in Vegas. I was walking up. Uh, what, what's the one you took me down? Uh, where they do the zip line and the shit. Oh, oh uh, downtown. Uh, not, yeah, the old old Vegas Strip. I never you, knew you, they had zip line. Fremont. 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 Yeah. I was I was walking down Fremont, and the dude was like. Ain't you? Oh, I thought you were Bruno. They were just breaking his ass ah! in the casino. Oh, he was damn. A, he was in the casino getting broke the last time, a couple last two times ago. Y'all know there. he stayed with a residency out there. He probably trying to repay oh, his debt. Oh, they just set him up. Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm trying to pay that debt down. Man, it, this, it, this girl made a post. I, I I just couldn't miss this. This girl made a post that said. My baby daddy got the weakest ops. Oh, this bitch. He keep coming home alive and untouched. Ain't he snitch on half of y'all? Ain't he snitch? Ain't he rob half of y'all? Anyway, he is not located in 
She dropped the address. I repeat, he is not. That man got shot not long after she put that status up. I kid. know. So that wasn't a joke? No. 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 He that was shot to death on that block. Gone. On that block. What that city she was this in? That sounds uh, like some Chicago. I was. I feel, like, I feel I like literally. Was. I feel like it was Chicago. Feel like when you said that, I, 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 I wanted to see. I wanted. I, I, I meant to go go back and, and and check that. Wow. Man, that's a diabolical bitch right there. Boy. Boy. I'm not taking my hair hat off. That's a diabolical bitch right there, dog. I don't. I wonder because she said back home. So do he? Did he live with her? That's 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 the part I didn't. I wanted. I, that's the question I had for it. Cause if he live with, oh my God, this this bitch, she cold blooded. But I, I, that's insane to me. I had two. I seen it from two two viewpoints. Two, you know what I mean? Like, what if the nigga was putting her in danger? What if the nigga was a snitch? Cause he said he was snitching and robbing niggas. What if he was putting her in danger with the snitching and robbing? So, nigga, she. <laughs> I just I don't understand why she made the post like Man, so look, public. Look, that, that's when my mama used to pack her shit at night while my daddy was sleep. That nigga beat her ass. She'll pack while he sleep. She'll snatch me out the bed. Nigga, I wake up. We be in a hotel somewhere. Two cities over. Yeah, like bitch, get away. God damn it, make wow. a move. Shake the block. Oh damn, mama just commented. What's up, Tainley? Lay? It's, it's, <laughs> it's two things, bro. That that two things that that I can't stand. Is a snitch and a robber. I despise both both of them. Cause cause most time when a nigga snitching is to get himself out of a, a predicting me in, so he he uh, uh, tell on somebody else that's not connected to his shit, so he can get his time lessened or or get out of his situation, or even worse, so somebody you a coward to be loyal to. Right, so you a coward. I don't like cowards. Fuck you, Southside. You know what I'm saying. And and a robber, you don't got no hustle about you. You willing to go and take from your people? That's because usually the robber is taking from them. Them, them the robbers, I mean, motherfuckers is going and and, and and putting a gun up to to to, to your people head to take their shit. If you gonna rob motherfucker, go rob that bank. Go rob them motherfucker. Uh 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 uh. That's robbing motherfucker us. that got money. Why you robbing niggas that's trying to come up? That you the them the two of the worst of the worst niggas to me outside of you know the the the, the pedophiles and the, and the, and the motherfuckers that be taking puss, but yeah you know what I mean. But like I can't stand niggas like that, man. Like cause I never even when I got to ground zero, nigga, and I ain't know what the fuck I I figured it out. I ain't never thought about like, damn, boy, I'm finna go. I, well, it crossed my mind, but I was like, nah, I ain't doing that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't I ain't never that down and out. Like nigga, my mind still work. It's a way to get some money out this bitch. It's a way I can, you know what I'm saying? I, like I, I can get myself out of any situation. And so when you were, when you get to a point where you feel like, nigga, I'm finna pull this pistol. This man, what? What? Nigga, you, you gonna take from your folk, my nigga? <laughs> Go hit the bank. Why was what? What? The bank got all the money you need, my boy. <laughs> All that money you talking about, you need the bank got it for you. Go play in that. Now motherfuckers done died behind, uh, 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 cause cause you want to get out here and try to take take from the next motherfuckers. You know he done got killed. You done got killed. These bodies because you cause you couldn't find no way to hustle. Man, come on, man. Quit playing with me, man. I I, I think my take on this is, you attract what you are. Yeah. And so. He was robbing, he was stealing, he was doing all the bullshit, and she was snitching too. Yeah. He attracted what yeah. he was. They was he, got, he got, he got, he got, he got what, it, I, it, cause see the thing is, and, and, and I, it was a nigga like that. It was a nigga that was a snitch and a robber. Mm -hmm. I, that's a dangerous nigga right there. A nigga that'll tell on you and then and pull a pistol on you. But any woman that's gonna stand by his side, she ain't shit neither. And you, she proved you ain't it. You right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you right. You right. You right about that. If, 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 if a bitch know a nigga snitching at a robber, nigga. Because that's a, a, a nigga that a snitch. Boy, all the thing. Don't nobody rob banks no more. It's all on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> nigga, if a nigga, if a nigga, if a nigga. Then give me your cash app. <laughs> just imagine. Let me, I'm going to tell you a nigga that, that'll take over any city. A nigga, if he was, if he was a snitch 
a robber and he was a gay. A what? A gay. <laughs> a gay. <laughs> what, what, why, why you think he'll take up? Like he'll be the mayor? What you think? What you mean? No, that nigga, the streets. He'll take oh. the streets off. That's a scary nigga. How is that? How is a killer. Well, and a killer. A killer, snitch, a robber, and gay. Why that nigga? That's P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> You call nigga. Ah! That's, that's the most dangerous nigga in America right now. God damn it, P. Diddy. What? <laughs> yeah. Shit. That bad. I don't care what you say, boy. A nigga that a a a a a a nigga that'll beat you up and fuck you is a dangerous nigga, boy. boy you Cause what was that? The, 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 the opening episode of Snowfall. Oh, oh yeah. That shit had that me like sick to my stomach. Three, I think. Four. four. Ooh, that shit yeah. had me sick to my stomach. Boy, that nigga Ooh. took. That's what I'm that, saying. That, that was the I most knew, dangerous. I was like, oh, they they came in. They came in heavy. I gotta that watch this. Was the most dangerous nigga on Snowfall. He was. Man. Cause he was scared. He was like, I'll take your nigga. bitch, your ass, your money. <laughs> nigga, cause that's a nigga that don't got no limitations. Any nigga that don't got no limitations is a dangerous nigga. Absolutely. Whether in, oh. in whatever it is, if a nigga ain't got no limitations in bed, that's a dangerous nigga. Mm. If, it, if a nigga ain't got no limitations when it comes to, to, to get money, that's a dangerous nigga. Any nigga that ain't got no standards or no morals or no principles is a dangerous nigga. No code. What's whatsoever. that Nickelodeon? Uh, oh, 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 we're gonna get to him. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> But well, this, 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 the top screen is what, okay. yeah. That's anybody that don't got. That's why I say. That's why I feel like we need structure. Like stru- there has to be structure for society to to thrive. There has to be such structure for you to thrive as a person. Okay. And a lot of people don't have that. Huh? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. A lot of people don't have no no structure, or they or they feel like they can just do anything and be loose and just. Uh, and those people start becoming. The worst of the worst people to me, because you ain't got no principles. You ain't got no more. Oh, I'm, 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 I mean, if we didn't have societal structure, or even like religion and stuff like that, the human nature is very, very, very uh, destructive. And also, I mean, they prove it all the time whenever they do these scientific studies, or even when they have like these movies, or they just like civilization. Uh huh. Like people is survival. Yeah. People going to survival mode. Right. It got to be an order. It got to be some order. But like. You you know how serious it is when you realize there's rules to war. Yeah, because war is some crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all got rules to this shit, <laughs> right? So, yeah. so y'all understand that there are things that you simply just shouldn't and can't be able to do. Right, Bruh, The yeah. animal kingdom has structure. Hmm. The animal kingdom has order. Why do you think that you can be out here and doing the the wildest crazy shit? With no consequences, no repercussions. Like it has to be a fucking standard. Like wh- there's a reason why you can't get eight eight hundred pounds and be living uh, how you want to live. Your goddamn heart gonna bust. Yeah. Because you ain't supposed to get that big. It's it's, it's, it's a natural <laughs> order, fool. Your back is not supposed to be. Yo, that somebody, big. your back ain't supposed to be that damn big, fool. But but they they they, they want to everybody want to uh, 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 riot against against uh, against the uh, structure. Oh, ain't no such thing as ro- gender roles and woo, 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 woo. man. Okay, keep 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 going along and and, and have this uh, society uh, 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 to where we ain't, ain't, ain't no. Oh, hold every- on, they showed a picture. He not even black. No, nah, he wasn't black. Nah, he was wasn't black. People. No, he looked like a snitch too, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, he look like he'll tell on your ass quick. Then he holding a baby. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. But but for it to be she your She hated that Yeah, nigga. for you to be your baby father, boy, you're a cold piece. Yeah, that's wonder, that's wonder, the that's the dude right here. I wonder what happened to her. But they gotta she got to be on the chopping block. She got to be on the Can chopping block. Can they charge her as an accomplice? It's I don't know because she said she left an address, but she said this is not. I don't know if that covers because, you know, law is literal. Yeah, yeah. they gonna have to prove that. <laughs> yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah. Or, 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 or the, uh, I mean, maybe he got some family that'll handle her. Or may, you know, like 
What is it? Karma's a bitch. Yeah. Man, karma take too motherfucking long. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I don't you. be believing you in that shit. Karma take too long. Shit, that, the law take too long. You that man, shit, listen. I don't be believing that shit. Well, 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 well fuck it, bitch. It, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's going down, baby. You better, you might as well get ready for yours. Because it's coming like a big woman. Sit your country ass down, man. Oh, I just see this is Facebook over there. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Facebook. <laughs> I thought uh, this was like. Oh, crazy. they say he was sweet. She called it. Like he was, he was gay? Oh, shit. Oh, well, it, it, that, that's possible. All right. 32-year-old Ohio mother, Christelle Candelario. Uh, she received a life sentence for murder after leaving her 16-month-old toddler alone to vacation. She left the toddler for over a week to vacation in Detroit and Puerto Rico. The baby died from starvation. She found she came home, discovered the baby was dead, and then called the police. You hoes got to go. You hoes that end up having a child and you left. This is the most I ain't never heard no shit like you left for a, over a week. A 16 month old child to fend for themselves? You ain't called nobody. Hey, I go get the baby. Like, bitch, they gave that bitch life. That bitch deserved life. Absolutely. Somebody said that's a bitch harsh that, that they gave her life. <clears throat> Nigga, what? Man, imagine a 16 month old baby starving, sitting at the house crying. Just crying because you know that's, that's got our like your body is eating it. And they said yeah. they, they said vacation in Detroit. I'm with you, <laughs> Art Sterling. Where the fuck y'all go, nigga? Detroit and Puerto Rico. Oh, you a diabolical bitch. That bitch diabolical. That bitch deserve everything that's coming to her. That's insane. Eleven days, bro. What you thought the baby was going on a fast? I mean, was somebody supposed to swing by the house and pick the baby up? Like, I'm no, just... the bitch just didn't care. That's crazy. And you know what I hate? Are you going to the comments, you're going to see this. Man, y'all don't understand. Postpartum depression. I you, don't bitch, ain't nobody telling you to have I that, mean, that baby, bitch. That's, that, 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 that's not an excuse, but also, there's <clears> so <throat> many other ways to give up your child. Right. Man. Man, come on, man. It be... It's it's crazy to me to have a child in another in another room. She called the police like somebody else did it. Right? Yeah, she called the police. It's it's crazy enough to have a child a, a little baby in another room. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know what they're gonna get into. Like like what set it off? The yeah. baby got electrocuted and shit. They took like you don't know what the baby go. But to leave the baby the whole house. And now she in court crying. Yeah, talking about some uh trying to she trying to get uh uh, uh insanity. No, nah, she. So she was trying to get some 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 uh, sympathy. sympathy. Mm. I'm like, who she went on vacation with? I ain't know she had a kid. Bro, I just I just I, some some motherfucker man. They y'all like they talking about life. She she deserves a chair. Yeah, right. that, they should have killed that hoe. They, they should have killed that hoe. That that's a good time to bring Stone in back. Throw yeah. rocks at that bitch. And we bitch need die. shame. Shame needs to be. That I don't care what nobody say. Shame and bullying is necessary. That's a necessity. Shame and... My neighbor said that wasn't the first time. What? So wait, they knew that bitch was leaving? I know. Why you? Why y'all didn't call the police? But I heard like even with DCF and stuff like that, it's just take, it's such a long process. They don't just come take the kids away immediately, you know? It's my last vacation. No, no she on the last vacation of her life right now. So everybody ain't meant to be parents. Sadly, most of them have working reproductive organs. Now tell me uh, about God having a plan for everything. I don't think all people were what God intended. And they were not. Man, listen. Appreciate you for the team, Mike. Listen, dog. That bitch need to go to a torture room. They need to put that bitch in a torture room. Put her in a torture room. Starve that bitch. On oh, me. Listen, I'm talking about, hey, boy, you got to, you got to, oh. 
Man, That's you crazy even... that the family asked, and she lied. She could have just sent the baby to the family house. How, how long again? Oh, your... she plotted on the baby then. Because I'm yeah. like, even if I, it, like, it, in the hypothetical world, if she didn't want to take the baby, if she just dropped that baby off of her mama's house on the porch and just left, guess who would have took the kid in the house? The mama. Like, you know what I'm saying? Left it with somebody. After that, the grocery store. Goddamn. Anyway. How, how long into a fast do you do it start to hurt? Ooh, shit, nigga. In like two, two three weeks, days, nigga. Two, three nah, days? that motherfucker. I'm talking about when, because he be faster. Well, so two I'm or like, three days. How long I into know, a fast? I, that my, motherfucker start. Your stomach start eating at itself. My homeboy Mark Henderson does fasting, and he'll do it. He's done like a water fast for like seven days. I what? know, but I'm saying, but that two, three. I'm talking about when do it start? Eight to hours hurt. in, your shit start. It's, yo, it's well, like you're talking about hurt like as in a punishment. No, like like oh, you know when you when the you baby, like, oh, shit. the baby, yeah. okay. hunger pains. When you, when you start forty eight like, hours in, them hunger pains a motherfucker, boy. Forty eight hours. Yo, listen, this is crazy. Listen, y'all got to You got to do that bitch the same way. Let her starve, dog. CPS, you're right. Never give her food ever again. Just give her nothing but water. Until she die out, cause water gonna make you last longer. You got you you got what about sixty days, ninety days? Yeah, you'll last a little minute. You'll last a little minute with with with, with just water, but you gonna be. I'm talking about that nigga said he fasted seventy two days. What he must have had some fruit and shit on his seventy two. He fitness. He must have had fruit on that motherfucker right there, and just never let her never let her taste food again. Just, just give her a, a, a fork and a knife and sit her in the cell. I'm just like, when, bitch, so if you get hungry, eat vacations. yourself. Her friend's like, bitch, your baby did. You was yeah. just in Puerto Rico turning up. Man, listen. He said, he said, you can live three weeks without food. I, I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't, no, nah, I didn't see motherfuckers last month. No, nah, I, I know niggas that do 30 day fast. That, that, that ain't true, uh, Great Black Song. It's motherfuckers that do 30 day fast. Shit, that, that, man, listen, that, that ain't, I, I, I don't six care what the, I don't, I don't care. Think Stop, don't let that bitch out to my she should never let get let her get food a day in her life and then give her a knife. You wanna eat bitch, eat yourself. Cut a matter of fact, you come in there, you come in there and every every day cut a piece of her to give her something to eat. Cut a here, here, eat eat these pussy lips, bitch. Eat these pussy lips. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like like cut cut a piece of that bitch, like a little piece of her ass every day. And then you take the knife. Did, so now she just got to eat. Because she is finna be in jail eating uh, every day, every minute. Man, I'm t- man, ain't no way, dog. Ain't, ain't I no. hope them hoes whoop her ass every day. Man, listen, dog. Man, I'm talking about beat her with a broomstick. Oh, that shit. That just, that's evil, dog. For you to be kicking it and not have that conscience on you like, damn, that baby crying like a mo-. You know what I'm saying? You all day a lamb, bitch? I don't even know how you do a dog like that, let alone a baby. What? Man. He said they have to have some kind of nutrients. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I know nigga myself who did 30 days, for sure. I, I, I know 30 for, day for a water fact, did 30 day water. I think it just depends, too, on like your body. Yeah. yeah they, some yeah. people got more stored up fat and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I think some stored up fat too uh, determines if you you know uh, how, uh, how much longer you can last too. Because mm-hmm. if a little, little bit of motherfucker, you 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 fuck around and die out in two weeks. Uh, but uh, you funky <laughs> bitch. Did I sit that bitch down? No. You funky bitch. You <laughs> sit your cut your ass down, man. Forever, ho. I hope you don't never get up. Make that bitch sit in a seating position for the rest of her life. Cause she can't even stand up. Make the bitch you, you every time the bitch stand up, something happened to her. And the bitch was thick. Oh Is that the picture she took on vacation? Mm. Oh yeah, that looked like a that looked like Puerto Rico. You fucking hoe. Oh, that pissed me off. That's so sad. All right. Set that hoe down. Send her to Mexican prison. Y'all did have y'all seen uh Lizzo and Lost Weight? Uh uh-uh. uh. she lost a hot 15. Man, I don't know. That's good. Hey, man, I sent you the picture. Hey, check, check old Lizzo out right now. Now, I said this. I said, if Lizzo is losing weight, she'll be all right. I said, I said she'll be all right now. 
I'm gonna let y'all be the judge. Y'all damn sure. Y'all tell me. I love it. Y'all tell me what I on just Lizzo. feel like whatever you're doing, as long as you're healthy. I, y'all tell me what old Lizzo done did. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Ozempic. Lizzo. Oh, <laughs> Ozempic, nigga. Everybody on that I, I, shit. Whatever she did, nigga. Boy, look. Look at that. You starting to see her face. She, it, ain't, it ain't all swollen in the face. It's, you, see the, you see her face coming together. She. She. Bad bitch activate. Bad Jeez. bad bitch activate. Well, Chad, she, and I agree with you, Chad, Moses. Chad got Lizzo, the unimpressed face. Chad. <laughs> Lizzo is a cute. You telling me regardless. that motherfucker ain't looking cute? <laughs> she was cute before. She ain't never been no, ugly. That, she she wasn't never ugly, but she wasn't like her features are starting to come together. The more the the more weight she lose. Her features start in her, in her face. Like you ever seen somebody lose a lot of weight and then their face starts sinking you know, in? Yeah, and, and it's and it looks a lot better. Like they face got damn near look musk. Like oh boy, oh um, Ghana. No, no, not like that. <laughs> Ghana, you see Ghana? Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, Ghana, a new nigga. Yeah, that his nigga face, his a face, whole another nigga. His face sunken in. Yeah. yeah, hey, you have to pull that Ghana one up. But look at that, Chad. You, you ain't impressed, man, that motherfucker. That crazy. motherfucker I mean, straight. She, she look like she done lost a pound or two. I ain't. That motherfucker look straight now. I, I see. I seen the potential in the beginning, but now I really see. I feel like the more way she lose, well, the colder she gonna look. One of the episodes you had posted what she looked like before fame when she was small. I don't even remember. The, remember what? what and so like that. That was like it was shocking to know that she's that she had got as big as she got, but. Nigga, listen, boy. I bet you them titties come out, boy. And them, they go to touch her navel. Nigga, boy, I'm gonna touch them. I'm gonna touch them before they get to the navel. You hear me, boy? You said, I, you know, I like them big old uh, massive titties. You know, them, them, them G's. Them Jesus. African village feelers. Them G. Ooh, you like them I village feelers. Wanna, boy, I'm talking about. I rest up on that motherfucker like a cover. Oh Lord! I'm sucking on that other titty. Boy, she yeah, drop one of them titties on you, you go be unconscious. Man, listen, boy, I'm telling you, that motherfucker, boy, ain't no way in the fuck. That motherfucker. So you bro- tell me you wouldn't hit? Hit her with a diet. Man, get the fuck out of here. Chad, I done seen you hit way worse than that. I, I, done, I done hit a big thing or, or two before, but I, she had desperate times call for desperate measures. This nigga, that motherfucker right there. Get Lizzo get looks down. great. I don't know what this nigga talking about. Yeah. You know, he, got, he likes skinny white women, though, so. Man, you know, what alpha? He like that, that's 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 his preference. That, that skinny mother- Asian, skinny white women. That, would eat that motherfucker roll over too fast. She gonna be laying on one of them big ass titties. And that, that's what I like. That's what I like. Come on with them elves. With them by the them by the uh, H right there. She got the Maserati titties. Uh, what Maserati? Maseratis are sleek. You go make they sales. First of all, Maserati is a porn star, sir. I don't know what that I is. Know that either, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maserati's a porn star. If you know who, Mar- if, you, if, you, if, you, if you ever uh, uh, look up Maserati, man, uh, they need to sue welcome. her ass for defamation if she big like this bitch. Uh, you, you, if you ever look up Maserati, you're welcome. Defamation. Yeah, because goddamn it, ooh wee. But ooh-wee. this is what I want to say about it. This is why another reason why I say bullying and shame is a necessity. They done bullied Lizzo and get started getting fired. She was already working out and stuff, though. She would post workout she, videos. She was talking cash money shit to, about being big, and she was defending bigism. Well, here's the thing. Did you say bigism? <laughs> <laughs> no, no Lizzo hate over here. But here's the th- I love I love her music. But here's the thing: when you are um, different people lose weight at different paces. So if I'm a bigger person and people are bullying me, I'm gonna defend what the fuck I am right now. You get what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. gonna be like you bitches wait two years. Like I'm no nah, fuck y'all. This how the fuck I look. Fuck y'all. And then I'm gonna pop out fine. Yeah, that nigga Gunna is a whole new nigga. That nigga. <laughs> he looked like a stud. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a that, stud. He had a better gym picture. He had a gym picture. That, that nigga's yeah. half a gun. Isn't that now. Who Chloe was dating? Chloe Bailey, huh? Yeah, she left him as soon as he got locked up. And I don't blame her. Don't nobody want no penitentiary, nigga. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say, man. She slipped down some more. She fucking y'all up. Yeah, yeah. She, she fucking y'all up. She's she that, that, straight that, for the that stroke right now. Where, she already had confidence. You know she about you, to be a you problem. Know you, you know when you don't have that arch 
from uh, your low back to your booty. That shit weird. Like it, it turned into a bubble right there. That that shit weird. That, that what? You know how your back to your booty supposed to do that. It's supposed to be that little curve. Oh, the curvature. And then she, booty. She got the little. She, she got, got little, that hump. She got that boop. And then oh, yeah, yeah. pseudo booty. But it but it probably it probably it, it probably starts shaping up when she she get start hitting the squats and shit, right? It is it'll it, it, nah, you can look at the look, ma- see look at Gona right there. You can oh, look wow. at the amount of stomach in her pants and tell it's not doing that. How, what it gotta do with the booty? Cause it, it 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 goes around the whole body. Oh man, that's that's her orbit. <laughs> no man, nigga, I done seen bitches that had that uh, big uh, wide pancake booty and then kind of shape up, nigga, and that ass got to poke it. He said big wide pancake booty. Yeah, got these. You ever seen motherfucker with a big wide booty? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> big, I didn't see them. But I, my, 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 I think my first girlfriend had a big wide booty. That bitch had that big little. She was a little short motherfucker. Had that big, that big. That motherfucker flat screen. That bitch had a fat screen. That's right. Leave my baby alone. We love Lizzo. Yeah. She is. <coughs> yeah, yeah, Black Caesar. She got that hump. Lizzo. <laughs> I ain't even, I, I got you in the wrong section, baby. Matter of fact, yeah, no, no, I don't. I'm gonna put you in the you in the right section. Uh, uh, sit your country ass down, man. On this hill. Ooh. On this hill lap, baby. On this hill lap. You ready for me now? You ready, Lizzo? Huh? <laughs> you ready, baby? We come back. I next- take you as you is. We come back next week. This nigga be in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> I take you as you is right now, baby. I think you- she um she dating a she, her boyfriend. They've been together for a couple of years. I believe he's a comic. A comic? I don't think he's anybody that like we we would know. Like I mean, I've met him in like is he maybe white? ten years ago. No, he a black guy. He's an aspiring comic, or he's when I met him, different. he was touring in in Chicago. I think he did alternative comedy though, but he black. The fuck is alternative? Comedy? He cute that? too. What's his alternative comedy mean? Um, I don't know. That's what they named it. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, nigga. I, 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 I don't alternative they comedy. They definitely call it that in Chicago, though. But they, yeah, Alter- like, is that like the equivalent to like backpack rap or something? What the fuck? Um, how would I describe? How would y'all describe? It's different levels of it. Like, who is an alternative comedian? Like somebody who gets on stage and does like experimental comedy. Like they'll get on stage and read a book or yell or just do some shit that's oh, just not, like, like that. Up. You Punchline. was you was at the comedy chateau when that nigga got on stage and did that screaming shit. Some shit like that is that alternative comedy? I don't know if that I was white good. boy. He had on a crazy ass hat. Somebody he, said David he just Lucas. went up on stage so. and was screaming and shit. See, look, look, look. This right here. Nigga, you that ain't. I like it. That ain't it. You like, like what? It. I like it. She don't hair. look. She don't look. She right. looks happy. It ain't her, right? Like that ain't. Like you, you can see like oh, in, in the eyes, you see certain features. Her nose. She got it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, no, you too heavy, baby. You 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 get that weight up off of you. You feel free. See, that's what I'm saying. Y'all be defending the bullshit. That's why they be comfortable. You know what? As a woman that's been told she was skinny most of her life, I just feel like men are never satisfied with women's bodies. Yes, we is. Just be thick. Y'all (laughs) only... Just be thick. (laughs) Exactly. I love you the way you are. Now get thick. Right. I like it. Just be thick. And then the girls go... We ain't complaining about the thick. Then they go buy them and y'all like, well, not that thick. No, nigga, we ain't talking about... But then you put on weight. We talking about work on that body, man. Get to... Get to... This is my thing, man. Get to the best potential of who you are. I, I, and I feel like you can say wow. that because you work out. But it be men out here who, who be built like um, gummy bears trying to say shit. That's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. But like mm-hmm. strive to be the best version of yourself, man. That's why that's 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 all I'm saying, man. Like like if you ain't striving to be, if you just content on on, uh, and, and, but you really and the thing is, a lot of them be like acting like they content on shit, but they really want to want to lose weight, or they really want to, you know what I mean? And, and but they be trying to fake the funk in public, but you be eating at yourself, and, and when you, so you nigga you because you got, I mean you got to put on a that's smile. The pressure. You but, you gonna make you, yourself but, the but in some ways, you got to be happy with who you are. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, if you if you striving to be the best of who you are, but if you're not striving for it, then why are you happy? <laughs> then why are you happy? It's crazy. <laughs> you need to you need you need to be sad. You need to you no, you need to work yourself to happiness. Fuck it. You me. need to be sad. All right. Okay. All right. We get the chat over. Oh. Uh, this is a topical question. I'm glad you're here, Brandon. I'm glad. Look at <laughs> Hey, fuck you, man. Hey, hey y'all. Hey, 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 hey,
that nigga like, that look like some shit you wear too. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Fuck you, man. That hand look dainty. Oh, look at that. No. He need a shirt on. The all, all you need is some gorilla meat on that chest. Right, that'll be right. you. Give him some taco meat. Let's make it hot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh. Um. This is a topical question, man. I, I I I like this. I like this question because I, I really want to see what you what y'all opinion is. Uh two people are dating and the woman mentions that she is saving sex for her husband. And the guy is cool with that. And then he mentions that he should go uh, they should always go Dutch for dates because he's saving money for his wife. Yes, sir. The woman points out that it's not cool that he uh not take her on dates just because she doesn't want to have sex. He mentions that that's not the case at all, but clarified that just like sex, finances should be uh, reserved for marriage. Yes, sir. Shout out to you, sir, for not simping, sir. <sighs> Salute to you, sir. What you got? What you got, Brandy? It's, it's sorry, big man. I like my girls with one chin. Look at Reese. You heard me. Um, thank you for the tip. I think that, here's the thing. I think that there are enough people in this world that you could just find somebody who also wants to wait to marriage. And you can also find a woman who will go Dutch with you. So both, they're just not compatible. Mm. Ain't no point in forcing somebody to be something they're not. They're they not compatible. Yeah, because I, I, I feel like it's, 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 people don't want to. Uh, I don't know if, if, if the journey is getting tiring, you know what I'm saying, or finding somebody uh, that's, that's, that matches you or, uh, you know, or what. But, nigga. It ain't. It's no reason why you should. You you ain't gotta accept shit like that. I'm not. Hey, there's no way I'm accepting a bitch telling me she ain't fucking until she get married. Hey, that's, that's that's not the question, man. So you not gonna date her, and I At all. don't want to date a man that's gonna make me go Dutch. So I wouldn't date him. So they just don't need to date each other. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna get me. Babe, you think I'm finna? You think I'm finna? She could go get her dinner paid for, and he could go get some pussy, and they just gonna be happy. That's that's like going into a, a used car lot. Right. <laughs> Here we go. I know. I'm like Here we go. <laughs> We're going to a used car lot. And the person person is trying to sell you a vehicle. Now if you you don't know nothing about this vehicle. You ain't gave you no they ain't gave you no car facts on the vehicle. Nothing. They just like the vehicle right here is for sale. We want you to purchase this vehicle. Say, hey, can I test drive the vehicle? Can I can I can I see? Can I can I have somebody look at it? Uh, uh, something for me? And like, oh no, oh no! You just gotta buy it as he is. So you mean tell me I don't even know if this motherfucker run? I'm telling you, it's a, it's a good vehicle. <laughs> you offer to take your word, bitch? I don't know you to take your word. I'm not buying that vehicle. Cause ain't no way. Ain't no way. I get that. I, I I deal with you. We we dealing with each other two years. I fuck around. Put that ring on. We get married, and we go to the honeymoon. And I find out you got vaginal dryness. But okay, so here. And now you done convinced me to like you. You better spit start. <laughs> fuck that. I'm not finna go up there. I'm, you, you think you you see? That's the thing. I feel like any bitch that tell you to wait to marriage, more than likely she got some bullshit pussy. I I think that. The, the the situation with that is is there's a man out there who also wants to wait till marriage. You get what I'm saying? And it's also like, so it, you got to break down your priority list. On your priority list to find a wife, to find a partner, whatever, having compatible sex is high. That person's might be spirituality. So he's like, either way, whether the <coughs> pussy is good or bad, God brought me to you and we going to figure it out in the bedroom. So it's just like, what is, what is the top of your priority list? We know that it's sticking your dick in it. To test it. Oh well, man, he, he got the dipstick. He got the dipstick. He got the dipstick. I done had several eye-opening situations. Uh, you you remember uh little little, little thicker? I, I had beat me at uh Ontario, right? Little thi- little thicker. She beat you at Ontario. That's a uh, that's meet, a cute meet me at that's a cute she nickname. Pulled up to thicker. uh Corey show when we was out there. Little yellow motherfucker, thick. Mm, I don't recall. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she, Oh, uh, she go tell me when we first started talking. She say, "I need you to wait sixty days before I put the puss on you." I said, "Oh, baby, ain't no thing. That's cool." She said, "You said that too fast. I don't want you fucking nobody while you wait these sixty days." <laughs> I said, I said uh, "Baby, 
<laughs> Baby, you fried. You this ain't gonna work. This this man. If this a, this ain't for. Let me tell you something. If a bitch if a bitch <laughs> tell me to wait sixty days before we fuck, bitch, I'll talk to you in sixty days. <laughs> you heard oh, me. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna mark I'll my see calendar you in sixty days. We go. <laughs> we said the appointment at this point. i I'll be there. What we doing but, that for? But but look though. So then I had another situation. Did you wait I, the sixty days? Uh, then fuck nobody, no ma'am. But you mm. still got the pussy. Uh, uh-uh, uh, no, no, because I didn't wait the sixty days. Okay. Yeah, she, 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 she wasn't going, and I wasn't going either. We was at an impasse. Okay. But so, uh, you took me to Vegas that one time. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I meet up with a, uh, with an old head out there. She got a little paper, you know what I'm saying? She doing her thing out there. Mm-hmm. She say. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Hey, Brandon, just saw your coming view episode and you killed it. It looked incredible, too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Swim is 2300. Get them flowers, baby. <laughs> Fuck with on the Instagram and shit, too, or YouTube. Or whatever. Let me pause you for a second. I forgot that the emoji for this was mainstream, right? Yeah. And so um, <laughs> I, it was all these people in my comment section putting horses. <laughs> and you know, I had I, I got my braces and stuff because I used to have an overbite. And I was like, are these niggas calling me horse a horse? I was so <laughs> fucking mad. I was blocking people. I was, <laughs> she was blocking y'all. So if you can't see my Instagram, hit me on Facebook and I'll unblock you. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Then it, <laughs> it registered a couple days later. I was like, oh, shit. She, she was blocking the squad, <laughs> man. Said, what the all these horses in my shit. <laughs> that's hilarious. That was my own insecurities. Bless y'all. I love the support. <laughs> I went and got Invisalign the next day. <laughs> oh, go ahead. What you said? My bad. Go. Okay. So, uh, you took me to Vegas. I, I meet this old head out there. She got a little paper. And What's shit. the old head to you? Uh, she she uh like forty six. Okay. You know what I'm saying. So uh, we kicking and shit. We have a few drinks, but uh, we was flying out like the next day. Mm-hmm. Best best so, times. Uh, she hit me up one day. She like, I'm bored. Uh, send me your full name. I'm finna buy you a ticket. Ooh. I was like, you finna what? She was like, yeah, I'm finna buy you a ticket. I, uh, and, and this the day of. Like I'm chilling. It's like four o'clock. She like the the plane leave at six. Can you get to the airport? I'm like, damn, nigga, I ain't even got time. She was like, nigga, don't pack Ticket shit. the like, world. To Vegas. Oh. Wait, don't she pack. Ooh. Yeah, she lived in Vegas. Okay. Mm. She was like, nah, nigga, don't pack shit. You ain't finna, what you, where, where we going? We ain't going nowhere. I'm like, damn, all right. So, nigga, I, I throw some little shit in the bag. She you said, know bring that dick. I, I get to the airport, you know what I'm saying? I get off the plane. And this is how you know, like, y'all y'all be dealing with them broke motherfuckers. And they they have all these standards about what you supposed to have and what you supposed to be doing. Fuck that. Wait till you meet an established woman. I get there. She take me I out to you eat. I explain that a little bit more in a second. Because yeah, I'm, I'm trying to understand what he just meant. Look, so she she take me out to eat. We, we sitting at the dinner table. She like, look, I like you. I fuck with you, but I'm a busy woman. I be, I be on my hustle shit. I ain't got time for the games. I'm finna, we finna eat. I'm finna give you a little bit of this pussy because I need to know what that dick hitting on if you finna be around. But she, she breaking it down to me like that. I'm like, you for sale. Right. He for sale. I'm like, ah, he she for sale. That nigga like a bitch. You he feel for me? sale. And, and I loved every minute of it. This the arrangement. Nigga, we, we get to the crib. Got she down. keeps that nigga, we, we do the thing. You know what I'm saying? She's a, a super soaker. She just squirted all over the room. Like, nigga, we had a time. We had a bow. Yeah. But I said that to say, goddamn, it's, it's different types of women that you go meet. This motherfucker wanted to know what the dick was hitting on in case she won't want to keep a nigga around. Right. You feel me? She and you ain't and you ain't play. seen her since. Yeah, yeah. I, I was dog. I was fucking we, we with talk you. All the time. <laughs> we talk all the time. We, she flew you out again. Hell yeah. Oh, she, okay. Nigga, that motherfucker <laughs> fly me there tonight if I call. Okay. Like that's my dog. She's like, like bring your ass, Bruno. Like it's gonna get to a point where 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 women that's that's boss that that consider themselves boss bitches gonna have to start doing that. Cause you know niggas that that really got bread like that really don't be giving a damn about that, mm-hmm. and 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 I don't think a lot of women understand that a nigga want to be needed, and when when you come as a, a a woman that 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 carries herself is like, oh nigga I don't need you for shit I got this woo woo then I'll, it turn a lot of niggas off. Okay, it, so I have a question about that because I feel like. I am for the most part like 
I'm 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 okay. Like yeah, I take yeah. care of everything. Things that are well off. I'm not well off. I'm okay. But like I've worked really hard to like establish like just my own lifestyle. And I do have a lot of freedoms and stuff. And it's so diff and I have this problem in dating because it is like it's certain things that I wanna do and I how do you how do you make a man feel needed it like how would you want to be feel how would you want to feel needed if you want her to like lie and say, Oh my god, my life's about to get cut off? Like, <laughs> what's, like I'm just trying to figure out like what do you want? What do, what do, what do you- well, first off, you don't have to stick your chest out with, 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 you know that that you are. Well, it, it, I guess it's me pulling up in my truck makes some men feel oh, a type no, of way. No, 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 pull up in that truck, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they like, I mean, damn, it's funny, it's you funny. got it, big bag. I'm like, bitch, the, the yeah. fuck? No, the fuck, I don't. It, I, I think it, I think um, certain niggas. Um, <laughs> it depends on where you went financially too. You know what I'm saying? As an individual, you know what I mean? Like. Like, like, if I'm not doing as well and you doing great, nigga, I'm oh shit, I'm gonna be want to be around you. I like your company. <laughs> like, like, oh, okay, shit. Man. Oh, you got it like that, man. Man, we can. But if you, if I got bread and I got paper, you gonna have to have a hell of a personality for me to want to be around you a lot. Like, so, but okay, so. But you said women need to feel needed. So, I mean, men need to feel needed. So, in that situation, that was just for fun. But say you met... And I'm not saying, like, I I, I'm, I just pay all my own bills. That's it. Yeah. But I'm not going crazy. But let's say you met a woman. She's a millionaire. Okay. Right? You met her, and you see she has all the things taken care of. Her finances are straight. She got some investments. She do all of this. And you show up. How would she make you feel needed? Well, because... So, so yeah. when, you, when you say uh, that was for fun... Like, Shorty really want to fuck with me, but I don't fuck with her more because I'm not where I want to be. I'm not finna be out there on her dime all the time. You know what I'm saying? I feel uncomfortable. You feel me? So, like, when we go out and shit, like, I be trying to take care of shit like that, but she want to be out all the time. And she don't give a fuck. Like, nigga, we, you know, the Vegas bar tabs be up there. Nigga, one night, nigga, I'm I'm in that motherfucker acting like I'm straight. That nigga come back with the uh bar tab. That motherfucker like one fifty. I'm like, ooh, I cringed a little bit. One hundred fifty dollars? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I thought he was going to say nigga, like eight hundred dollars or something. I ain't gonna hold you. I thought <laughs> right, nigga, right, three thousand. He nigga. said, "Them Vegas bar tab, nigga. That's an LA bar tab. That's a receipt of bar tab. One hundred fifty three drinks. <laughs> goddammit. it." L.A. ball time. No, it ain't got that. But anyway, it's like double. our fourth time being out that day. You feel me? Yeah. Like, like it's like this all day with her. Yeah. You feel me? Like, we going and fine dining out. It's like this all day with her. So, Nigga, so, we spending three, four hundred dollars everywhere we go. A hundred dollars every time ooh. we walk out the door. <laughs> Nigga, that shit add up. So, okay, so if you, okay, so say y'all did this. Y'all went on these three or four things and you were not paying, right? Mm-hmm. And so... Does your fun diminish? Do you therefore feel like you're not having a good time anymore because she's paying for it? No, no I, I, I feel insecure. I'm like, shit, I can't hold my own. I don't feel like a man. You know what I'm saying? So, so would it be better if she took you to places you could afford? No, it's not about that. I want to. You be, just don't want to be around. I, I want to be more established. That's his, in yeah, it's, order. It's all insecurity. You know what I'm saying? I want to be more established in order. Uh, to to live up to the sta- her standard of living. I don't want to try to reduce her to my standard of living because that's not no thing. No, nah, she likes spending two hundred dollars every a little time she go outside. I'm a little different. I don't. Man. I can't do that shit. You used to be a pimp. We yet. know you different. I'm, 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 I'm a little different. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna enjoy myself. He gonna myself. be like, oh, you 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 paying for this? Yeah. Bring three more rounds. Yeah, like, hey, uh, 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 you know what? Don't worry about them fries. I get them fries, baby. <laughs> I take I take care of you lightweight, baby. You know what I'm saying? You're funny, <laughs> but but you know what? In all honesty, I do appreciate that because I'm the type of person like I want to have a good time whether I'm with uh, somebody I'm dating or if I'm just with my friends. I've taken my homeboys out to like a nice restaurant that I just wanted to go eat at, yeah. and it's just like for me. If I got it, the people around me got it. Not everything that I got. But if we doing something fun together and I can afford for both of us to do it, then I'd rather experience that with my friend and not do it. I, I, I'm, I'm the same way. Yeah. I'm the same way. If I, if I got it, man, man, we finna ball out. We finna, we finna have a good 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 time. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I know you're you you know you you're in a dire situation or whatever, man. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, 
But but she a nigga went with with when when the nigga ain't got it, she a nigga still be wanting to enjoy itself. She, and, like, and that's the crazy part, cause I be in the crib majority of the week here, and then when my partner's car, man, we we go out of some and like we'll go to two three places. But shit, I pick up one of the tabs. Ah, yeah. what what was it? Eighty. I can drop eighty with them, right? Because this we finna I'm finna spend this and go home, right? She want to do that six times in a day, so, ma'am. No ma'am. <laughs> would you feel better with a woman? Who, who wanted to go to like two hey, places stupid. for forty dollars a place? Where, hey, put a, yeah, yeah. Would you feel better if it was a woman who was just like, you oh, cool, cool, we could <laughs> <laughs> one hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> God damn! He starts sweating. Oh, man. Uh, you hot, you, hot in here. You, you must have seen it before, nigga. I do sweat when <laughs> motherfucker when when shit is expensive, <laughs> nigga. That's my first. But thing. would you feel better if you were with a woman who maybe didn't, who wasn't as successful, and she was just like, oh, we could just go to the drive-in movie? Well, so pretty much, I I like doing nice shit my damn self. So I I keep a certain amount of distance in between everybody that I'm dealing with because I'm not where I want to be. But like, especially <laughs> with somebody who lives be, uh, outside of my means, because if I'm with the woman who just want to go to a drive and she want to do all affordable stuff, that's cool. I can hold it down, but I'm still not doing the shit I like to do. I like to eat at crust station. I like to, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'd be at all the, the top dollar shit. Listen, man, I'm, I'm, I, I know how to enjoy my moment. And where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? Like, like this is the moment that I, I can. If we, if we can only do uh, the movies right now, the cooler restaurant, I'm gonna enjoy every bit of that. I'm still striving for more, but I'm not gonna be bothering myself or worrying myself about. Damn, nigga, you. <laughs> You, you you supposed to be at uh, uh, Maestro's right now. You supposed to be. I don't give a damn about that. I know food is food. First right. of all, if it's good food, I don't give a fuck what 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 location it's at. It's good food. I can find some good food that ain't a uh, hundred dollars a plate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 now you're really paying for the atmosphere. Uh, uh, as yeah. far as the you know the, yeah. the expensive spot. So I don't give a damn about none of that. Like like. If I can enjoy her company and I fuck with her, she cool. Nigga, we we smooth. We 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 rocking and we and, rolling. And I think too, men miss this a lot of the time. Is like we just appreciate effort because there's so many things that could be done that don't have to be so expensive that just require a little more effort. And so it's like yeah. it's like a balance of things. You yeah. Know? Yeah, I I just man, listen. And I'm, if you know how to cook, baby, I'm a hey, I'm gonna eat at the house all that's, day. That's what Good I'm food saying. at the crib. I, that, that's that's the that's the fun for me. Let me cook. And let us cook. To, I like to. I love to cook. Cooking. And so we cooking together, baby. Yeah, let's let, do it. Nigga, that's the, that's quality to time. Right I now. like that. When mother get you when when y'all in there, mother can make it. You know what? I got my favorite dish off in the make. You gonna make your favorite dish? Mm-hmm. We gonna and, and we have a cook off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Like, what, man, come on, man. Come That's on, my man. love y'all, language. Y'all losing, y'all losing touch with society. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, society got y'all fucked up. Y'all losing touch with, 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 with uh, um, what, what I'm looking for, uh, uh, real connection, I, re, de, real connection. connection. And you know, and I, and I, and I find that so hard because, yeah, I do feel like it, it, it definitely is fucked up the game. I feel like a lot of men have, especially like. In our 30s, it's like men get to this point where they're like, well, I need to have this. I need to have this. I need to have this. And it's already statistically shown that women have these things faster just because women are usually like mature faster. They're the ones who go get their degrees. They're the ones who go do get all these things quicker. Mm -hmm. And then it's like men are like, oh, I'm not there. I'm not there. And it's like, well you know 10 years ago neither one of us was here like we just like each other they it's, it's not, sometimes it's not enough for people to just feel like they just really like each other and i feel like a lot of social media and stuff has put these pressures on people that's not real right i feel like if one of <laughs> us got it man if one of us got it we should be able to enjoy joy each, each other you right. know what i'm saying like and it shouldn't be that the pressure shouldn't be like on one person that since they don't have it like if you really if i really fuck with you like it, most men are like this anyway. If I really like you as a person, and I like your personality, I like who you are, I like being around you, you ain't gotta worry about shit when you with me. But women, it's it's tech, it, uh, most women is like like 
they feel like even if they like you or if, even if they fuck with you, if your ass po, it's a no go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't care about your status. They don't. They don't I mean, they don't. You know, I mean, we in, we we in our thirties. If you saying poor, like I mean, how poor are we talking? Yeah, I mean, like, it, it, I'm saying even if you're getting by, like 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 if you if you if you making enough just to get by, they ain't fucking with you. You're like you you you. Oh, I feel like if you, I feel like paying. Long as you're responsible for yourself, right, right, right. That's my main thing. Oh, don't call me and tell me your lights about to get cut off. <laughs> but like, just be responsible for yourself. But also, if you my nigga, you my nigga. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, goddamn it. Be her nigga then. My nigga then. Yeah. You gotta get upgraded hey, to the nigga. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um. But let me. All right. Let Let me get to this. Ain't, ain't really uh, nobody to sit down on that motherfucker. I guess. I guess. You, you, this is cute. During look. the pandemic, me and my girl was sitting in PF Chang parking lot, and what eat? What they say they was eating fried food? Oh, uh, I, I ain't I ain't see it. Oh, uh, oh, my girl sitting in PF Chang parking lot eating fried rice, bagging on people. Walking That's by. cute. Uh, That's real cute. There it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Find some man, man. Y'all gotta improvise, man. Find you, I want you some can always time. you find more stuff to do when you have less. You find more to you you find more to do with less. You know what I'm saying, and I, I, that's why I think people a lot of people miss it because they always have a uh, some in particular in mind like oh I, I got I got to do this I got to do that. But shit, when you ain't really got it, you got to improvise, nigga. You'll find some real it's, fun. It's, shit it's to do. just like when we were kids. And if you ain't have money to go to the movies or you ain't have money to go to the amusement park, y'all finna make up a game. Because right. y'all still want to play with each other. Exactly. Yeah. DJ Too Loud, tell her, man, hey, hey, pull up on, the, uh, on us in Seattle tomorrow. Oh, I, I want to say that. Y'all on here. I'm going to be in San Diego on Saturday. Anybody in from San Diego SD in the house? Woo, woo, pull up on me. I wish you weren't doing nothing tomorrow. I tell you, yeah, pull up in Seattle. Well, well, shit. Well, where you, where you going to be? I'm at Nate Club tomorrow. Oh, let me know some other dates. Because we, um, uh, let me know some other dates. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, I got flight benefits now, too. Oh, hey. man. I've been trying to. Well, I'm finna go on. I love my cousin. I'm finna go on a mission. I'm gonna go on a mission. I love my, my cousin. Baby. I'm finna go on a mission, boy. I'm finna be shooting big pistols. That's it, yeah. Right, I've been trying to get Kimmy in the uh, airport. She damn near got a job. I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey nigga, I better be the first nigga on them benefits. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh. Uh, so. Uh, I don't know if y'all been watching, but Nickelodeon then got exposed for pedophilia. They, they it's, it's a uh, documentary, uh, right? Quiet on set. Quiet on set. It's a documentary. Uh, all, I don't know too much about it. I know I've seen a, a couple clips. Uh, Drake Bell, uh, he revealed he was repeatedly sexually assaulted by uh, Nickelodeon dialogue dialogue coach Brian Pick when he was 15 years old. He went to jail. For it, do the the Brian do? I thought I think so. I think mm. ain't that ain't, is he, is he the is they brothers or something? The him and uh, Josh Josh Peck because they got I mean that. that's a that's a, a pretty crazy last name. I so know. I wonder if I wonder if they brothers or something because <clears throat> they just got through talking about it. Yeah, this but, this is definitely your exposure. I'm gonna tell you right now they um HBO they they about to get my six dollars because I want sixty it. tickets left. I need them all the way gone. Come on, man. Woo, woo, woo. Come on, Seattle. Six the tickets left. Get all the way gone. Get them up out of there for me. Oh, uh, I'm gonna I'm get HBO for for the month because I do want to see that. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I'm definitely gonna check it out. I got. I think I got HBO. Oh, uh, give me your password. Okay, I, I I do so for you. You might have to watch it with me. Oh, okay. uh, listen. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch it with you. We watch it together. Um, uh, who? Oh, that's that's him. No, that's Drake. That's Drake right there. No, I'm saying Chad looks like the CEO. Oh, hey, 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 Nick, 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 Nick. Hey, Nick ain't slick too. Y'all know, y'all remember? Uh, uh, they had uh the foot. They kept they kept showing shit with the foot. Uh, when they was making them do shit with they foot, poke ketchup and shit on their feet. They wasn't doing that at Nickelodeon. Yes, they was. I thought it was doing that at a school in like Arkansas or something. <laughs> Fuck you. It was a school in the Midwest though. No, they was doing it on. They was doing it, on, and you know they they logo is the foot, the Nickelodeon foot. Oh wow. Yeah. So they was doing. They were showing a lot of different shit. They that, that they was doing, and. It was real pedophile. Like they they had the girl doing this with a uh she had something in her hand. 
Uh, what's the girl name? Oh, uh, Ariana. Ariana Grande. She was they had her doing. Oh this. wow. Okay. Yeah. I gotta yeah. watch. I gotta watch. Bro, that the shit get deep. You get to watch it. And you like, oh, this shit was in our face. They just had a show for them. These motherfuckers had a show for them. They was what they was watching. Little kids do shit that they was into. And them motherfuckers were probably shit. jacking off to them kids, man. Because it's like, who is your target audience? What are you doing? Yeah. Like, but also, where's your mama? Was yeah. my mama gonna be like, she ain't doing that? Put this shit down. Ari- Ariana mama was right there. Bro, this shit really was dick Wild and crazy kids. <laughs> this shit really was dick alone. Dick alone. You dick alone. They ain't slick. They all that. That's cause they wanted all that that was on the screen. The motherfuckers, but they 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 had they had a little cold, but niggas done cracked the cold years later. See, we you, they they started sh- showing different shit. I was I, like, I thought you was talking about the little cold they had for Ariana now. What? Uh, when when the fat dude would be getting inappropriate with him, the the co-stars they had a code that they would yell for the co-stars to come and interrupt him. What? Yeah, like like he would be doing weird shit to them. And like the girls had a code that they would yell out for the male co-stars to come help them. Oh wow, that's so sad. But that they've been they've been <laughs> talking about that shit for years now. Damn. Uh, it, it was the the girl who who was on the show with uh, Ariana Cat or something. Uh, no, it was Cat and something. I never watched the show. The but the blind girl. Uh, uh, Lizzie McGuire? No, it was oh. the, uh, the Ariana the show where she what had she? the red. I hair. never watched her show. Mm. Yes, I ain't never watched that nigga. It was it was Cat and something. Man, Cat I, and Sam. All I know mm. is the white folk. All I know them white folk. Uh when they put that shit together, all they was thinking about was dig 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 dig. <laughs> Dick alone, yeah. Dick that's some cold yeah. shit right there, dog. Them bitches, yeah. You go, they done got away all these years and Dan just Schneider. not paying attention to it. That's that's what's crazy about it. Wait till y'all hear what they was doing on all that. That's what that's that's. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, I was joking. I, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> man, because we, we we looked at all that shit as innocent. We weren't really paying attention to that shit, man. Uh, you know, a lot of shit that's happening now is kind of more overt. Like the cartoons and shit. They do all kind of crazy, crazy shit now. But nigga, they was doing that shit. They was getting away. With, that's the cold shit. It's like, first of all, you 15. I mean, they were selling their kids a little bit. Godly, dog. A little bit. That's yeah, that's, yeah, the, the, that's the gotta parents be. was, you know, because uh, that man said he would wake up out of sleep while dudes uh, uh, doing it to him. Damn. At fifteen, I gotta watch this. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that that, that they they was on some wild shit right there, man. That's that's that shit. Uh, all you bitches going. I hope they send all you fucking motherfuckers that was over that bitch to the motherfucking prison. Jail. Hey, I'm gonna tell you like them officers gonna tell your stinking ass. Sit your country ass down, man. Sit your country ass down, man. They said, man, the vibe went crazy. I, just, I bet they ran through. I just, uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, my nigga JJ said he made a status. Said she, uh. <laughs> yeah, I oh, looked at why, why my show got canceled. He said, what? He, yeah, he said, he said, my, my show got canceled after the second season. I wasn't giving up no ass. Oh, Lord. Yeah, 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 my nigga JJ fucked up. You. Yeah, man. Hey, that shit. All the child stars, like Orlando. Orlando, I was been, of him. Yeah, yeah, Orlando. You think why y'all think Orlando so fucked up, man? I was thinking about him. They fucked the brains out of Orlando. Mm-hmm. You stupid. That's that's crazy, man. Them, man, we we sit there and watch the, these motherfuckers that got. That's all right, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, Amanda. Man, it don't look that bad though. No, nah, she she did some crazy shit with surgery. At one point in time, she was unrecognizable. Yeah. yeah. Damn. That was the girl that she was on all that, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. that was Amanda. Mm-hmm. Amanda Mine. <clears throat> Damn. That's some bullshit, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Country views on breaking news. Uh how y'all feel about that? Kobe Bryant parents are uh auctioning off Kobe's championship ring. Won his championship ring. Why are they doing that? They don't have no money? I guess so. Mm. I mean, do you? Because a lot of people, 
a lot of people are saying that the wife they they said she she fucked up because why 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 they have to do this why they have to auction off the ring if you know he left you know pretty much everything to her. I'm just trying to figure out what do they not did she not give them no money do they not have no money? Because I remember wasn't that being like part of the story that that they didn't have no money when he like she got everything so they didn't have nothing. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. I mean, was I, he I, supposed I to be taking like, care of the parents? I don't think it. I mean. His parents are probably well into their seventies or eighties, but I also don't think that it's. Um, I, I think like you know, on, on outside looking in, it's like, oh man, it's a prized, precious possession. You don't want to do that, but these people might really like have to do that. You see people who be around pawning off their wedding rings. They don't want to do the shit. Yeah, but you got to pay rent. Oh, well, if you were the wife in this situation, what would be your? What would be your? What would you do? Um, either she could buy it or she just got to accept it. How much is going for? Well, this is just a screenshot. So it's 90, <clears throat> 94. That's 94 not even K. like that's a crazy. lot. I know. That's not. They said Kobe didn't have a best relationship with his parents. Kobe mama always sold this shit. Okay. Mm. I, I, I feel like the wife just buy the ring. Fuck it. She might not want to get on the money. She might just not fuck with them. Because here's the thing. Because once they get get through it all, what, you know what I mean. What they got? Just, 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 you know what I mean. Because ninety four thousand, fuck it. Give, give me the ring. Like I don't really fuck with you, but, but like you know, you, you birth, you birthed Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a, I ain't gonna leave you starving out, out, out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna leave you, even though I don't fuck with you here. But here's the thing, too. Like, you got to think about this. Why? I'm sure Kobe had a will, and why didn't he, he didn't include his parents? So why is it up to her to include them? Would you, everybody don't, don't have everybody. Tough. You're very close with your mother. Everybody don't have that same relationship with their parents. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess you got to see it from their perspective. Well, I, aside from the Lakers make rings every day, B. <laughs> Aside from the the drama associated with the family and shit like that, I think it's dope that um, we can we can be a part of that whole like art world and have things of value that are like precious and can be sold for years to come. That's kind of dope, mm-hmm. but um, I, I don't like this. You know, it's drama associated with it. You know what I'm saying? I, but. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool that we got our own little Mona Lisa type shit going on. Here's another question though. So if they are, let's say, 80 and they know that they probably at the last years of their life, they mm-hmm. like, well, we could have fun with this $94,000 or we could die and they could just go to whoever they go to. And they probably might Yeah, because they ain't too. got nobody to leave it to, right? Because his daughter died. Did he have more kids? Yeah, he got three to four yeah. daughters. He got oh, three he left. Got okay, I ain't no... But she... But no. they got... Oh, well, I guess, yeah, because you want to give your... your their father... Have their father's ring. You're right. Yeah, because uh, heirloom, family heirlooms and shit. Because uh, this is the question. What is the relationship with the kids? Is the, do the kids and the grandparents have a relationship? Because then that changes the whole dynamic of it. He got more than one ring, though, don't he? Yeah. Okay. But I'm saying, like, but but you got to have some type of if the kids and the and the grandparents have a relationship, then you got a connection to them, and then you have to have some type of. Well, if he felt strong enough in his opinion of his parents to cut them off, how do you think they treat his children? You said if what? If he felt convicted enough to cut his own parents off, I said, how you think they treat his children? How they, the way they treated him made him cut them off. How you think they treat his children? Well, she they say his parents didn't rock with Vanessa because she was Mexican and they didn't come to their wedding. <laughs> so it sounds like the issue is they wanted to give them a black uh uh daughter in law. Okay. I don't feel like it, if if that's their reasoning for uh, uh, not fucking with them, I don't feel like that will be passed down to the kids. You might not think so, but sometimes sometimes parents hate the the mom so much the kids get the well, uh, the extent. Well, I guess of it that you have to. We would need more detail if, on that. If, yeah. if, if your parents uh, got an issue with race, that that shit usually 
keeps going. Sometimes grandkids oh, can break say, the they done cycle. Had the race, they done had the most racist motherfuckers. Uh, uh, shit, the, 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 like racist uh, grandparents and shit. Yeah. Boy, I done heard some stories. Motherfucker done changed. They changed how they even looked at black people as a whole. Yeah. Just because they had a grand, uh, black grandparent. I mean, a uh, black Gra- grandchild. Ch- mm-hmm. uh, my, my baby mama grandparents didn't change. They they hated her ass. They she looked white. Kimmy? Well, they too old. They probably see now before uh, Kimmy was even relevant to them. They yeah. were old. old. Wait, wait, I think it's a little different. And she wait. looked, and Carnisha looked white. But, hold on, wait. What, what, what they didn't like? They didn't like that she was mixed with black. The Carnation Miss Black? Yeah. And she looks the white, white. The white parent? Yeah, the white grandparent. Well, it's different with the black. I, 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 now, I'll say that. <laughs> it's different when white folks don't don't, don't really like like they, uh, the, 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 the in-laws in comparison to, to the niggas. Niggas is kind of like, we'll eventually kind of give you a chance. The <laughs> white folk, boy, they usually. <laughs> that hate run deep. That hate run deep. <laughs> Tell them not to come in my yard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That you get them little neglets. You know what I mean? Ooh, neglet. <laughs> yeah, that's the word. Uh, I you- met them old racist motherfucker one day, boy. They were mugged up like a motherfucker, like they were pruning. Yeah, uh, you you gonna you gonna dilute it some more, you fucking nigga. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, man. Uh if you want some merch, you know Marcus.com, man, to get your sh- uh, hoodies, shirts, um, you know, uh hats, uh mainstream hats. Um, you know, if you want promo, hit my uh, Instagram or my email. You know Marcus or you know Marcus at gmail dot com. If you want to send mailing off, uh, it's my name Marcus Smith seven three twenty Reseda Boulevard Pound three seven one four four two Reseda California nine one three three seven. Uh, we'll do quick two three minute phone two two uh, three two minute phone calls real quick, uh, and then uh, we're gonna close out because we ain't got no. Um, uh, John A's gems today, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna we're gonna do our church announcements as soon as we get through with these little quick three calls. So you got two minutes on the phone calls. So if y'all, some of y'all already know the number, you, you finna beat everybody to it. Uh, but four two four four two six three five five four. Boom! I, I remember. A I lot memorized of that. Yeah, four four four. Cut the four four and knock his brains out on the floor. Anyway, it's a Vanessa Fowley for uh. Man, I, I I don't know, man. That's 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 a, that's a tough situation, man. I, Cause you gotta, I mean, I gotta have more detail on the situation for me to for me to you know to, to, to judge that one. It's that also one. it's a tough situation, but it's one of those situations where it's like it's not a bad problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> you got a ninety four thousand dollar ring. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Cause they they definitely gonna sell it. They definitely gonna. Motherfucker gonna buy that ring. Oh yeah, they are. Just to they say starting at ninety four. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna go way more than that. Some that, they probably get a meal ticket for that motherfucker. Drake probably buy that motherfucker. I mean, and even if he did it, they might put it in some museum or something. Somebody with some big money gonna buy and, it. And that's what I'm saying about us having like that type of art out there. Like yeah. I don't know what else to call it, but you know something that's of value. Yeah, it's like an I don't artifact. Understand how them them. Them artworks be valued at millions of dollars. Like, boy, I don't give a fuck about this picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People create the demand for it. Right. Come from DJ Too Loud, baby. <laughs> Mainstream in the building. What it do, man? What it do, baby? What's happening, Jack? Man, I'm just over here trying to do the Lord's work, man. Trying to fill up them seats for you tomorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, get them packed up for your boy one time, man. Yeah, my posse is on Hosmer. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with there you, go, baby? Seattle, where you at, baby? Yeah, so man. Fun, man. Let go. Yes, sir, man. So you, uh, you DJ tomorrow? Hell no, I ain't got shit to do with that. I just love you to death, my guy. Oh, man. It's all love, baby. It's all love, baby. Day one -er over here, baby. Day one -er. I'll be in the chat too, baby. Let's go. One thou wow. Come on now. Let go, baby. Let go. And guess what? I ain't going to go to show tomorrow. I got to work, but I'm going to show love anyway. Come on, man. Come on now. Beautiful. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We got to do this, man. Seattle, man. I'm going to tell you right now, man. The late night scene been dying. I'm going to do my part to revive it, baby. I remember how it used to be. That's how, that's what I want. Man, DJ, 
Tell me where you going to be DJing now. I'm, I'm there the Monday, man. I'm going to come fuck with you. Bro, I DJ online, baby. If you really want to know, you can catch me on Big Go. You can catch me on Twitter. You can catch me anywhere. Everything is. Wait, you DJ online? Yeah, baby. What you mean, DJ online? Oh, you, you like DJ that? Nice. Hey. You be going down. Okay. Okay, D Nice. I love let you. Let go. Let go. Already, man. Bro, I appreciate the call. Let go. Man. This is what we do, baby. This is what we do. Seattle show, love. Let's go. Let go. Salute. Not, I need Salute. Hear, I need to hear some more of this show. All right, for I love y'all. Sure. All right, bye. That was beautiful. Ooh. Fuck you, Daryl. Yeah, yeah, man. The love, <laughs> the love be love. Hi, John. Appreciate you for the twenty-five, okay. my boy. Dana White. <laughs> Dana White. <laughs> Mainstream in the building. What it do? Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. Dana White, I need some UFC tickets. Long time, long time, man. I ain't called in a while, man. Chad look like Charlie Brown over there, the Great Pumpkin. (laughs) (laughs) You see it? I got a question for you, Marcus. When you, I'm from Boston, man. When you coming to Northeast, man? When I what? Coming to Boston. You said when I'm coming to Boston, man. How close do you come to Boston, man? Man, I, I I I tried to get booth for Boston last year, man. They 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 I, I think it was like a week out. I only had like twenty some tickets sold, so they canceled on me, man. What about Philly? You come to Philly because I get down there sometime. I'm 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 working on trying to get a date in Philly. I I I I'll be sure to let you know. I'm um I got I got to rap with some people, but but yeah, I, I might be able to get Philly soon. Well, New I'm York trying to show, get though. with you, man. I'm trying to get with you, man. I'm a great follower. I'm a subscriber. All that, man. I support you highly, man. I'm man, I appreciate it. Holly Hill, South Carolina, all the way up in Boston, man. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. I love this. Another country folk in the city. Come on now. Man, yo, I Chad, love it. Listen, I caught it. I caught some of Chad's conversations. I was on the road. I drive these trucks, man. I want to conversate about that another day. Okay. But listen, Chad, I feel you on that feeling like a man. I had a woman in that same situation was making a little more than me, and I, I just it just it just hurt me the way she would just take care of everything. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. The dirt road in me wouldn't allow me to, to stand on that. You feel me? I got to be a man first. You know what I'm saying? Already. Yes, sir. So I feel you on that, man. And I'm gonna hit you with your cash app, Chad. I ain't hit you yet, but I got you. <laughs> fuck with me. Fuck with me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm gonna right, get some safe on that road, road man. I say to everybody listening. Support this man, bro. Amen. I've been catching some of stand up on on the videos, and he he got it. He next up. Man, I he appreciate you. Up. I love it. I appreciate yeah, you, man. And fifty one fifty in the house all day. All Main day. Stream, the horse. I grew up on a dirt road riding horse with no bridle, man. Just come, grab the main and come keep on it now. going. Let go. Let's go. But yo, man, I love you. I love what you're doing. I miss mine. You know what I mean? Keep doing what you're doing, baby girl. Thank I'm going to support you. You're going to see the horses in your thing now. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, I got it. Wait a little while, so don't get scared. Just jump on and ride. Just hold the bridle. <laughs> <laughs> love, man. I Be love smooth it. out there. All right, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I'm going to keep supporting you, and I'm spreading you, man. I'm one of the ones out there spreading you. All my country folk. Yeah. You tell them, man, they got to get on this horse, man. Let's, Let's go, go, man. Tell them about it, man. Beautiful. That's so beautiful. All right, my All boy, right, Pete. Well, y'all stay blessed, man. You too. All right, now. Oh. Call from. No. Okay. You hung up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, man uh, yeah, that's beautiful because it's like you got black men calling in to, you know, support you. And, you know, that's, that's they always talk about how. You know, we saw against each other, but it's oh, beautiful man. to see. Hey. It's family right here. Call yeah. from Dante. Main Street in the building. What it do, Dante? Man, what's cracking with you, man? Town business, man. I'm calling out of Seattle, too, man. What's happening? Oh, Seattle. I, was, you, I know you're pulling up on me tomorrow. Oh, man. I'm pulling up like a tow truck, man. What's happening? Come on, You're man. Right, man. Come on, hey, now. Check this out. Hey. And look, I pulled up on you when you came out here with Slink the last time. Oh, man. Hey, man. Hey, let them folks don't get them tickets pull up on me, man. We finna have a ball tomorrow. And the motherfuckers ain't got no choice, to be honest, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. But nah, man. Now, look, I, I appreciate y'all taking this whole phone call, man. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But yeah, I'll definitely be in the building, though, for sure tomorrow. Absolutely, man. I we finna have a ball, my boy. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna be the motherfucker in the front row hiding his rap pussy. You understand me? <laughs> yeah, 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 sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, look, tap in with y'all, man. Y'all stay up. I already made me, boy. That's so nice. Yes, sir. What's up? Yeah. All right. Oh. Where they calling from? What the hell did that record? Go, go ahead. This is loud. Oh. What the hell is 737? I wonder if they. Oh, it's Texas. Austin, Texas. 737? Okay. All right. Okay, man, we're going to shut it down, man. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, uh, we, we had to do the phone short, man, because we really uh, a little over time. Uh, and, you know, we got to get out here, man. We try to get to some places, man. Uh, so, uh, everybody, uh, man, listen, man, we, you know, y'all y'all come through. Y'all show love every week, man. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I, ain't, I can't, it's, it's just be unbelievable sometimes, man. And, 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 and the shit feel good. That I can relate to y'all on on some genuine shit, man, and it ain't y'all ain't fucking with me because of this or that. You're like y'all y'all really locked in with me because of who I am as a person, my personality. I ain't got to put on this character or this persona to be nobody else. Y'all just fuck with it because I'm down south old country ass nigga, man. And 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 you know the fact that I ain't got to fake the phone. And 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 everybody, we we got like a family dynamic on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? And they come, y'all come every week and fuck with me, man. Ain't no better feeling, dog. I wouldn't want it no other way. So I'm proud of you. Oh, because I remember man. when you told me you were starting this, and you've done very well. Man, I'm proud Brandon, of you. Man. Yeah. Listen, and you know what? Only thing I slack on with this is putting <laughs> clips out. I don't put clips out like I should. If I put clips out regularly, mm-hmm. I think my shit would be like up there. You know, well, what I mean, saying? it's always room for improvement, and now that you know where you can improve, you can just do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get it done, man. I'm gonna get it done, man. Uh, uh, real quick, we we'll do we're gonna do these church announcements, then we we'll get up get up out here. Um, y'all already know this. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, Tacoma, Washington, Seattle, Washington, surrounding areas, pull up on your boy, pull up on me at the. Uh, he said, "What's Brandy's IG, please?" Brandy Denise. Brandy Denise Boyd. It's Brandy with an I. Yeah, Brandy Denise Boyd. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, makes hey. It's on the screen. Okay, <laughs> make sure y'all pull up on me tomorrow at Nate's Nate Jackson Super Funny Comedy Club. If you haven't got your tickets, please get them right now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Go on on there, get them right now, man, and how and come fool with me. I'm doing. I I think I'm finna start doing a monthly uh down here in LA. Um I'm doing April the twelfth. I got um a show we're doing, me to hear more, uh Danny Rag, uh Dewan B, Faith, y'all met Faith on here, and and um Dean Ween, man. It's finna be a, a dope ass show. I'm doing it at the stand up comedy club in Bellflower. Tickets are already on sale. So nice. if you in LA Get it. So you know Mark is a friend show. I love and it. And then they, they talking about if, if, if I should do it once a month, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm considering doing a once a month show out here in L.A. This is going to be, uh, if you know, if I continue to do it, it's going to be the... I, I did one at, at, at Ice House like a few months ago, but this will be the official uh, one one a month one. You know what I'm saying? If it, uh, April the 12th. So we're going to see how it turn out, turn out well. Fuck it, we're gonna just do it every, every um And even once if a month. it doesn't, you know, just keep, you build up the momentum, they'll come. Right, right. Um and Birmingham, y'all know I'm be down there June 14th and 15th. Um uh, I gotta confirm Detroit date, but they don't got the link up. So uh I don't wanna, you know, announce it yet, but uh I got that'll be my first weekend. I'll get a whole weekend. I got five five shows. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's a good that's the first that's crazy. That's the first place that I got well outside of Tampa Improv. I, I did uh Detroit was my first set uh, tour date. I love so it. That'll be the that'll be the first one to give me a weekend. It's gonna be dope. Y'all come out. We gotta you like it's not enough to just like like stuff and follow and show support. Even if you not in the city and you see a flyer or even if you can't Get a ticket. Like, I sold out the improv. Yeah. And in two hours, because I came online and I said, I need for y'all to show up for me. Granted, I had so many tickets to give away, but all them tickets were sold. Mm. Man, listen, and and, 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 and and it's hard for us to be transparent, bro, 
Oh yeah, I uh, got on there and was like, "Hey, I ain't man, that. that's that's why I nigga, I got in that inbox like like Brandy. What we need to do? Like, I I'm finna promote it on my page, whatever. <laughs> like, cause cause I know how hard that is to say, bruh, either this show got canceled or my ticket sales low. We got to be vulnerable, uh, or vulnerable to y'all, bruh, about us failing pretty much. Yeah. Cause to us, this is 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 we is, we we got a show book, but we didn't. You know what I'm saying? And you know, so that's hard, bro. That's hard to get on that. And, and, and nigga, I've had times that I had to. I had you remember, y'all know I did 25 uh, clubs last year. Two two of um, uh, council. I had two. I had um, uh, Boston and, and Virginia Beach Council. I didn't tell y'all till it was council, but nigga, I was scrambling trying to get tickets sold, man. And it was it was man, it was frustrating, bro. But but like I I went. Sometimes I wish I, I had the courage to, to do what Brandon did, like, and, and, and come out there and, hey, man, shit, I need y'all help. You know what I'm saying? And But, shit, nigga, I'm grateful I'm, and I'm, 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 of where I am and, and, and what's going on with my career. Um, but but y'all, man, for real, if 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 I'm in y'all city, I'm not I'm not asking y'all to buy tickets just to buy tickets, man. But if you you know if you feel it on the heart on your heart to buy tickets, then thank you, I appreciate you. But um, man, I, I I I nigga, if you in that city and you know I'm coming. But Get also, and even if even if you got to work or something, slide it to your cousin. You know they're going on date night on Friday. Man. It don't hurt to share nothing. Because yeah, if, if I have somebody funny come into a town, I'll be like, hey, listen, my I do it all the time. Anytime my people in Jacksonville, I'll be like, hey, or anytime somebody in Chicago, hey, y'all, they, they going to be there. I'm telling you, you yeah, know, because people go out on weekends anyway. So just spread the word. Hell yeah, man. And, uh, while we talking about it, uh, you can let them know what you got. Uh. So I am um, on Comic View, the newly released Comic View, executive produced by Kevin Hart. Hosted by Mike Epps, I am on episode four with the very talented Jay Ski and T.I. Please tune in and watch and just tell people about it. Share the login with your cousins because I feel like it's not enough people who like even know that it's back. So word of mouth is really the power behind it. And this is my first time having my stand up on TV. You might have seen me on several TV shows, but I've been doing stand up for 12 years. This is my first time having stand up on TV. I'm very proud of my... I did, that was on YouTube. I did do a Comedy Central okay, feature, mm. but that was on YouTube. They did not air it on TV. But I'm very proud of my set. Very, very proud of it. Um, it's been a long time coming. Right now, I'm working. I'm, ta- I'm in negotiations for a special. That's why I was got here late because I was scout. I was scouting out venues. Tada! Yes, I'm, 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 I'm shooting um, my own. And I'm gonna do my own this uh, summer. This Saturday, you can catch me in San Diego, and next month, if you are in Austin, Texas, I will be performing at the Moon Tower JFL Festival in Austin, Texas. I will be there for doing four sh- four nights. Yeah, dope. Thank you. Awesome, y'all. awesome. Go, uh, go. Somebody said something. I liked it. Uh, I, 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 that, 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 that that touched me, man. That you know, what I mean, go slide up a little bit. Hey, uh, big folks. It was big folks. He said, even low numbers, you still bring it Baltimore. Hey, man, tell him, man. Still, hey, I performed like it was a, a full room. We had like, uh, big folks. Oh, I had performed like, like we had a full room. We had like, I think 40 something in there in Baltimore. Uh, and it was a big ass room. Uh, How, you had 40 people? Yeah, 40 some people in Baltimore. All right there. Right I there. mean, if the room was small, 40 people still is. In this the, was a big ass room. Oh, oh, okay. That was a big ass room. Like a 60, 70 seated up. Oh. Uh, Mark, as you still growing, it's gonna be good nights and bad nights. Don't be so hard on yourself, Pete. Man, I be having to, I be having to remind myself that, man. But that's what makes us better. Thank you for that. That's right. what makes us better. Yeah. Well, and then you know what? It's beautiful because I went to you Seattle down, yeah. and I did a, um, I did a small. It was like a very small theater. I think it was like seventy or eighty seats. I think it was probably like forty five people in there, yeah. which was good. But it was just like these were people who have really been following me these are people who were like oh i wish you to tell these jokes oh also shout out to fam you i uh, i got top 40 under 40 come on now for fam you and so i went and did i went to arkansas and it was people in the front row with they fam you apparel on and yeah. i said that's those shows to me mean so much more than like come selling on. out a big like do, going on the road and doing like i've done shows up to like six thousand people like oh like hosting for other people but the shows where the people really specifically come to see me they got on my merchandise they got on my shit them be the ones like damn nigga let's go to dinner we about to kick it all night what you yeah, doing tomorrow right, <laughs> like right. man listen that be happening everywhere i go man yeah that's a like majority of the crowd be knowing me yeah like, you know i don't i don't really it's rare 
that I, you know, get get a like 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 it happened in Kentucky. They had to do some comps in Kentucky, so there's a lot of people. But most of the shows that I go to, it be people that don't that nigga that mainstream. I love 50 it. 50. Like nigga, that shit. I feel like I've been somewhere before and they had mentioned that they saw me on mainstream. Yeah. Cause somebody just said to me and each uh episode got me, you and each and your mother yeah, got, got the, the most. most views. But I feel like I was somewhere out in the US and they had said that they saw me on mainstream. Man, yeah. uh, you know how many people that came on this that done came on this couch that told me that Man, they nigga recognize me from man, man. I was like, nigga, that that's just crazy to me, dog. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, I'm 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 I'm, I'm embracing it. I'm embracing everything that's <laughs> but, happening. But one thing that you probably don't notice from all your grinding and all the time you done put in it, I've seen motherfuckers look at where you at and start pushing they shit harder, and they've been out here longer than you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You got you got niggas who on platforms like they they regulars on um Blab Factory, so they clips is out there and woo 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 woo. They be waiting for validation for people to ask them to come to a city. Nigga, you jumped out here. You built this shit organically. You know I ain't what I'm gonna saying? Hold you. When you started doing the independent rooms, I was looking at the places you were booking. And I, some of those cities I put on my list. It was like, oh, I want to see if I can yeah. get in there and do like a Somebody night. told I, me it was a lot that. of people that was looking at my list and they was hitting up them clubs yeah. because based up on the list. That I, I mean, anytime I see any comedian, <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I'm like, oh, okay. And I'll like, I'll, in the same. Yeah, and yeah. I would look at where they going and where they at and then I'll go check my analytics and see where my followers at because it's like certain cities you want to go to. Like I might want to go to Boston. I might want to go to Philly. But it's like, I don't know which clubs would allow me in. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so when you see people who are like, mm-hmm. like in the same, the same uh, space as you, right. it's like, oh, okay, well, they are clearly accepting like people at my level in this club, so let me try them. Yeah, bro, yeah. I, that's I, just smart. And right, right, smart. right, the, right. The, the shit's so crazy to be how I'm. I'm watching motherfuckers who've been out here longer than you. They looking at what you're doing, and they like that's possible. And you've been out here, and they've been out here way longer. You like few five, four five years longer than you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And they were scared to go get on the road and go do shows. Nigga, I had Maury say to me one day, he was like, bro, I feel like I'm the the newest nigga to comedy um, that's that's doing my own, um, doing putting my own shows together. Nigga, he, he claimed he only been in a year. I assume he probably didn't lost count and he got to be pushing too. But yeah. let's say it is too. The, I done seen the nigga sell out four or five shows out in the IE. Yeah. Like he's doing it all organic. You know what I'm saying? So the the way you jumped out here about yourself and had that belief in yourself, nigga, that's crazy. Nigga, to to have two two uh venues canceled on you out of twenty five, nigga, that's crazy. Nigga, you yeah. built all that organic. Yeah. Well two out of twenty seven. Um, okay, yeah. two out of twenty <laughs> shots. Two get the, uh, get the it. motherfucking numbers shots. right. Yeah, yeah, but uh, man, uh, yeah, this, 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 yeah, I'm, 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 I'm grateful, man. We're here. I'm grateful. Man. We're here. I'm grateful, and I'm grateful to, for the peers that I've met along the way. Uh, I'm grateful for Brandy, Brandy. Hey, man, this motherfucker right here, man. It's going to the top. Ever it's since on to my the first time I met her. You know, we, we 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 had a little small chat. Next time I met her, it was like, nigga, that's my nigga right here. Yeah. I, I fuck with you. Like, see, yeah. we was at. I think the next time I see you, we was at Improv, and I was like, hey man, I, that's a cute girl right there. I remember her. Yeah. And then we just chopped it up, man. And then from there on, man, we've been locked in there since then, man. And, and, and the energy always good and organic, man. And, and I, I appreciate you. I appreciate your presence. Thank uh, you. Man. You attract what you are. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, cause you got. BB out here working credits. Yeah. You remember that motherfucker got credits, dog. TV. I'm blessed. That's it. Listen, man. But I mean, I'm, I I I think that's what that was like. Kind of like my natural gravitation towards you because I saw how bad you wanted and I saw how how much you hustled. And I don't really like hanging around losers. And so, like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, you get your church announcements out there. Hey, man, say, man, free game, Chad. Uh, my next show is tomorrow 
at uh, Crack 'em Up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They, they, she, they finally yeah. gave my my Crack 'em Up yeah. debut. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I I felt like I had to stay on heels about this motherfucking show. Uh, other than no that, doubt. you know what I'm saying? Uh, you got to follow my social media, oh my God, Free Game right. Chat on all platforms. You know I'm outside, man. So. Uh, suited by Shadrick, still up and popping. God damn it, until they shut TikTok down, my suits is on TikTok shop too. God damn it, we out here working, baby. I love that. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I got to watch that guy for interview. Well, uh, he, he's on Shay Shay. I got to watch that interview. He said, God for spoke on Club Shay Shay about how black companies don't support each other. And it was facts. Mark is different. You, Because I fuck with my nigga. I don't give a fuck what they talking about. You hear me? And, and, and pass game along. Like, niggas, are, I've, it's so many people that I've taught. On the promo game and 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 and, and how to get cl- different clubs and shit, I be like, damn nigga, you been doing, it. you ain't figured, like damn nigga, I came this motherfucker figured this shit out, and goddamn me, <laughs> that, that's that's crazy that, cause it be some it be some niggas that some some. Nigga got status that been on a lot of shit that hit me and asked me questions. I and mean, shit. you just whatever whatever your uh, strength is, just lean into that. And yours yeah. is clearly promoting and. Uh, definitely pushing and getting your crowd organically. I remember when you hit me about the acting stuff. I had no problem telling you. I sent you to that school. Yeah, yeah. Went Yo to the acting classes. Get on them motherfucking TV, I was like, D- 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 get your get your EPK together. Get this together. Like wh- whatever you are, just pass it on because you never not you never gonna not get something that's not for you. Plant seeds. There you that's- go. Plant seed because one thing for certain, two things for sure. You can't stop motherfucker that's gonna get it. Regardless, if they gonna get it, they gonna get it. It's motherfuckers that you can give advice all day, and they'll never do nothing with it. It don't matter. If you can help somebody get to a, get get to the next position, especially if you feel like they got it, give them the advice. Right. Because what's gonna happen is you plant all these seeds. Now some of the motherfuckers might not sprout. But you're gonna you're gonna look up and you're gonna have a garden out that bitch. And, and 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 that garden might be feeding you. It will. And you know it will. Saying? You fuck around, you been a blessed nigga that turned into Kevin Hart. And, and it then, will. And this nigga take take you with him and then um, you know what I'm saying, advance your career. All because you wasn't selfish. And, was and that Scruncho who said that? He was like, I, I taught all the young niggas that's in the game uh, a lot of everything that I could. Yeah. And when I started phasing out, they would look back and put me on shit. Yeah. Was that Scruncher that said that? Um, I, I, I think He so. was talking I to think, us. I Whoever think so. said it, they was talking to us. I think that was Scruncher. Yeah, man. Plant them seeds, man. Yeah. Watch your garden grow, man. But that's, that, that, you know what? That's that, that, that's what we're going to name this episode. Plant seeds, watch your garden grow. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we can we can get up out of here though, man. We gotta get up. We gotta get out of here. Uh, this was dope, man. You know, it's always you know. Brandon got the top episode. Her and just niche, man. We back, baby. We back. Eight hundred some thousand views on that bitch. You Ooh. hear me? Hey. So so you know, I always appreciate with Brandon coming. She came last minute. I called her today, and Brandon's like, I'm pulling up. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's hey. always a treat with players, me. You know what yeah. I'm saying. Hey. Hey, so thank y'all for episode 113, man. Much love to the mainstream family, man. Y'all make sure y'all go support, man. Uh, support it, you know, whatever endeavors we got, man. Follow on Instagram and uh, whatever platforms you put Instagram. up there. Yeah, you know what I'm the saying. YouTube. And uh, thank you. Thank, Thank you once y'all. again, man. Y'all know we hug on the way out, man. Yes, Much love. Sir. Love you, mainstream. Sir. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Here goes the damn
gotta do another song. Big Mike, we gotta do another song. For what? Cause I said so. Alright, mom. I'ma rap this time. Oh hell no. Don't do that, Big Mike. You stick to the ad lib. I got somebody to help me out with the rap. Chad, where you at? What's up, cuz? You got some bars for me? You know it. Let go. Country folk in the city Country folk in the city Mainstream Mainstream Country folk in the city Start this off right, cause I'm the host of the show You know Marcus is the name the flies, nigga, you know If you ain't heard about us yet, then you about to find out This the country folk show, represent for the South Mainstream the podcast, and it's for family and friends Sometimes I hate to show up, and they like to pretend And say I can't freestyle, this cause the style ain't free And you can try all you want, but hating won't stop me Mainstream, mainstream, mainstream. Country folk in the Mainstream, woo. I get on that couch like in the booth. I speak the truth. Every Wednesday with the news. Got you laughing, do the fool like a mule. You know, Marcus brings new stains to it. I'ma give you a game that you wish you would've knew. Mama Feng Shui, always end up with them Jews. Country folk in the city, I keep my people with me. Keep them laughing with silly. Them phone calls always zig that. Switch them out like I'm Vivian. Fresh as Prince Jada kissing me. Breaking locks like the industry. Free game equanimity. What the hell is equanimity? Mama, sit your country ass down, man. Mainstream. Country folk in the city Cause what we got, we the next for the spot On the stage of the couch, we put some siphon in mouth Know I'm talking about Mainstream Yeah, free game, Chad. Your name, Funk Sway. And you know Marcus. Black, 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 magic. You know Marcus. Oh, yeah. Y'all did that. Now we need a mainstream movie.